think we are ready. With that said, let's get this started. Start game. The date is the year 2385. Night Killer 14 is a name. Welcome back to your personal network interface, Malcolm. You have zero new messages. There are three new items. IO Science Station Disaster. Relaunch the Mistephiles. A new breed of salmon discovered. The scout ship Mistopheles, first built in 2328, was relaunched yesterday after extensive upgrades. She will be assigned to... Can't read it yet. <laughs> she is under the command of Captain Barry Chahal, hero of the Mars riots, and is to be Captain Chahal's last posting before his retirement. A spokesman for the Earth Federation Navy dismissed claims that, despite several upgrades, the Mistopheles is outfitted with obsolete technology. He is quoted as saying, if it was good enough for the 23rd century, it's good enough for today. Sounds like modern government, right? <laughs> he is, oh, picture available. Let's look at the picture. There it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. Getting like Star Trek vibes from this. Dang, grilled tomatoes. How was the break? <laughs> I'm sure you've been super busy. How are you doing? What have you been up to this whole time? Earth date. <laughs> Krim, thank you. It was my username. I think it was our character. I guess, are we Malcolm? All systems running efficiently. That's good. Ben Yahtzee Croshaw presents. That's the guy from Zero Punctuation. You should definitely check out their game reviews. They're really funny. I've been watching them, gosh, since the mid-2000s. They've been around for a long time. Seven days a skeptic. <laughs> yeah, right. Totally playing Among Us right now. Oh, that's great, Girl Tomato. Good job on those grades. Sometimes I get the feeling that I don't belong here. I mean, I'm here on the ship, surrounded by all these veterans. Oh, we must be the, the rookie. And I'm terrified that someone will notice me and say I'm on the wrong ship. <laughs> Imposter syndrome, right? I keep having this weird dream that I'm in a room full of people with green skin. Oof. And they just watch me, wondering what I'm doing there. And then one of the green people turns around, and he's my father. Does that distress you? Not really. Although I do feel kind of embarrassed. What do you think, John? What do I think? William, I think you're just letting... Uh, things get on top of you. I mean, the ship's physician is on an exploratory scout ship. That's a pretty heavy first posting. No one expects you to do anything other than your job. Uh, <laughs> I suppose you're right. I'm a counselor. I'm always right. <laughs> nice. Nice. Well, sorry to have barged in on you like that. Oh, don't worry. That's what I'm here for. I'd better get back to the sick bay. Thanks, John. So I think we are John, actually. Yes, okay, so this is who we're playing. So let me try out the save functionality. I haven't tried this yet. F5? Ah! I always just give him a number and keep Baker Mini like that for a while. Let's see here. Oh, and 99, congratulations on your last day of school. That is amazing. Although, don't ever say never because I thought I was done back in 2006, and then I went back and got a master's later. So you may go back to school. Oh, we got our certifications here. How do I look at this? Right click, and then eyes. My diploma in human psychology, and my license to practice it in an enclosed spaceship environment. It's kind of specific, huh? I like them where they are. Oh, wrong button. Okay, looks like it's all the same thing. So you highlight something. I guess now I have an H in my name, right, Krim? <laughs> At least it's the same name. Um, yeah, you right click on something and then you can either uh, eyes it, hands it, mouth it, or key card it. <laughs> I guess whatever you have in your inventory. My desk containing all the files on the crew and their mental well being. We grab anything from here? I finished with work at the moment. Never mind. Oh, oh, sorry, you said high school. I missed that. <laughs> yes, hopefully 99, you never have to go back. Unless you're going to become a teacher. Now, I doubt there's anything that highlights all the items. So I'll have to uh, 
pixel hunt a little bit. I don't like it either, Krim. It doesn't look right. There are seats that came with the room. <laughs> and a sofa. I brought that with me from the share house I lived in while at college. It's a bit too small for people to lie down on, but it's the thought that counts. <laughs> I'd find a way to fit. <laughs> 99. Ew, teaching. Teaching's great. We need more good teachers. I'm sure gazing into space was amazing for the first people to leave Earth. But for me, it's now getting a little samey. It's kind of funny, me being in California, I'm kind of like used to the beach. But whenever I have people from out of town, out of state, they're always like, let's go to the beach. I'm like, sure, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, right, fantastic. Go to timeout. <laughs> okay, I think we can hands the door and get through here. How does this work? There we go. Yeah, it's a little bit of a ASMR thing, isn't it, Plocky? All personnel report to the conference room on the ops deck. I just noticed when I move my um, cursor up here, I can change the sound. That's really good. Okay, so if you need it to be louder or quieter, let me know. I can actually just tweak it right there. That's really handy. When I was testing out earlier, I was like quitting the game and changing it. Oh, hey, John. What's this all about? Beats me. Maybe someone died. <laughs> That's messed up. Oh, that's awesome, Alex. No, teaching is a great profession. It takes a lot of patience. Serena and I have a little announcement to make of something we think you all should know about. I thought you were already married. <laughs> yes, yes, very witty. Fact is, the scanners have picked up something floating in open space. Something manufactured. Serena? Thank you, Captain. If I could draw your attention to the tabletop... The object is constructed of a metallic alloy and seems to be rectangular in shape. Oh wow, first contact. Let's not get too excited. It's more likely to be a human artifact left for the drift or left to drift for a long time. What else do we know about it? It seems to be some kind of container. The right sort of size to be a cryonic escape pod. Sensors don't show any life signs inside it though. Would it show life signs if it was frozen? Did you inform High Command? Yes, sir. They recommended we drop a beacon and leave it for the fully equipped research vessel. Just a recommendation, not a direct order? Yes, sir, but... Adam, use the grappling claw to bring it into the cargo bay. <laughs> I'll be in... It'll be in range for the next few hours. Right, O Chief. Okay, everyone else can go back to what they were doing. We'll let you know if we need any of you for anything. I love that skirting the rules. Just a minute, John. What do you think of this? I guess I won't know what to think till it's brought in. Yes, yes, quite. You know where I, I'm going to need you there when we're examining it? No, I didn't know that. Come on, John. This is basic procedure. You should know this. See, they're telling us we don't belong here. <laughs> this is potentially a first contact scenario. Regulations say a qualified psychologist must be on hand for first contact scenarios. In case we all go crazy. Okay, sure, but I'm not sure what use I'd be. You really need to stop depreciating yourself. Adam should be done bringing it in soon. Stop by my quarters for a chat if you like. I'll pass the time. Okay, that's where we're going to go. Okay, now I get a little break. I am going to save often. Not so as often as what I've been doing right the second, but because you can get killed in this game, apparently, you want to be sure you have a recent save. And um, Alex, what kind of um, teaching does your uh, uh, girlfriend do? What, like, what sort of subjects and stuff? Okay, so we got a map here. Let's take a look at the map. Oh, that's really neat. It actually shows you where you are. Like, you are here, and it's flashing. I like that. And everything's labeled. What a nice map. Like the sign. It denotes that this is the operations deck. And a plaque. What's that? Conference room. Now, the first game was kind of spooky in like a haunted house. This one's going to be more of a haunted space game, which I love space horror. Do you guys have any uh, favorite like horror movies set in space? Of course, Aliens is a classic. Uh, Event Horizon is a really good one. Jason X was terrible. Star Wars, not it's not horror. <laughs> I mean, there might have been some s s small spooky moments, but it's PG. It's fine. 
Okay, let's go talk to him. <laughs> Especially if you saw those as a kid, Phantasma. I gotta say, a lot of things that are not really considered scary, they do become pretty creepy when you're a kid. That's Ensign Serena Langley, the helmswoman. That means she, like, controls a ship? Let's talk to her. Serena? Oh, hello, Dr. Somerset. Are you enjoying your work? Oh, yes, thanks. Is this your first posting? No, I was on a cargo transporter before this. This must be a bit of a change of pace. Yep. It's funny, this game plays... I mean, though, there's a lot of reading, kind of like in uh, Danganronpa. I, I don't have the chance to, like, take a break and chat with you, so... If I'm in a long scene, just bear with me because I won't be able to like look at chat until it's all done because it just keeps on going. I don't click to move it forward. It just happens. Oh, that's right, Hasifa. Star Wars losing hands, arms, all kinds of stuff. Let's see. Oh, do you like a more now though, Plucky? But you don't think you've ever watched a space horror movie? I'd recommend Event Horizon. That's actually a really good one. I'm trying to think of my favorite space horror movie. I'd have to see a list. Sometimes I just can't think of them off the top of my head. Uh, Alien and Aliens, of course, are... I'd say Alien is more of a horror movie. Aliens is kind of more action-y. And Alex, so she does English and Japanese languages. And mostly with middle schoolers, some adults are Japanese. That's super cool. I wish I knew Japanese. And Grill, do you feel bad for the stenographer who has to transcribe objection? Here's... <laughs> You know what they should do, Grilled? I'm assuming it's all computerized now. Just give them a hotkey for those words. They've been using it so much during this trial, right? And Krem, you like thriller movies that scare you with the eerie vibes instead of jump scares. Those are always the best. I mean, that sense of dread is always better than like a pure jump scare. Uh, I think probably the creepiest movie I've seen in a long time is called Hereditary. If you want something really spooky, I recommend you watch it. It's not like jump out, scare you kind of movie. It's just constant, filled with pure dread moment kind of movie. And I need to watch at least today and yesterday's cross-examination. I've seen some little clips, Phantasma. It's not looking good for Amber at all. Okay, so what do you think of this alien artifact business? Personally, I don't think it'll turn out to be much. It's the captain's attitude that surprises me. He seems really gung-ho to grab it, huh? He completely ignored a recommendation from High Command. I know he, how he'd feel if I ignored one of his suggestions. Overjoyed, probably. What? Nothing. <laughs> and what do you think of the captain? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, Andy's... You know, I was telling Andy, like, you should really do a... Uh, just like a mystery science theater 3000 kind of thing where you watch and react to these like clips and videos, you know, and we could just have like a green screen shadow of you. So you're not actually on camera, but you kind of are, but nobody can see any details, just your outline and you just make fun of the trial and just laugh at it. I think that'd be fun. So what do you think of the captain? He's a nice person, but confidentially, he seems a bit unprofessional. Why is that? Well, he gets agitated when I call him sir. He keeps asking me to call him Barry. It's not what a captain should be like. I mean, maybe he just wants to be more casual. I think that's fine. Uh, is that console as complicated as it looks? Not to me. But then I spent four years learning how to use it. See. See, and that would be something that, like, if... If you were a full-time streamer, which a lot of them are doing this, and you just stream every day for hours every day, it would be cool to like live react to a lot of these things happening in in the media, you know, beyond just like if you're still playing games or whatever. <laughs> John turning into a reaction streamer. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have the super hot takes. I don't think I'd be super exciting with that. You know, it depends on the subject, of course. I feel more passionately about some stuff, but I generally try to see most everything from both sides as much as I can. Of course, some things are just so lopsided you can't help it, but I don't know. I don't think I'd be as entertaining as some people, and I wouldn't fake it just to, like, make it entertaining, you know? So nothing you'd like to talk to me about? I mean, we are the psychologist, right? If I think of something, I know where your office is. Of course. Oh, I'll see you around. Hi. You seem nice. She seemed very focused on her work. 
See, now that's really cool, Phantasma. Find somebody that has like a real, like, strong, like, professional opinion of whatever's going on, and that's somebody really worth listening to. Time was. The bridge needed all sorts of computers and consoles to work the ship. Now we only need one. That's pretty cool. This is the only computer in the whole machine, or in the whole ship. Actually, it's not a window. It's a sophisticated three-dimensional projection screen displaying the view from the front of the ship. That's really cool. Then you don't have to be, you know, looking out the front of the ship. Of course, if the camera or whatever gets damaged, that's a problem. There's two doors. Let me try this one first. Oh, are these the escape pods? What is this? It's a hatch to one of the emergency escape pods. Yeah. And it's a control panel for the escape pod. Okay, we don't need to be here. I wonder if there's a quick way of doing this. I don't think so. I think you have to always use your hand there. Oh, nice. I loved that movie last night in Soho, Alex. It's one of those movies I enjoyed so much I want to pick it up later. That was a good one. I do still buy physical copies of all my favorite movies. It has to be opened via the panel by the door or from within. Also, I have to use this thing right here. There we go. Who is it? It's John, Barry. Ah, John, do come in. What's on your mind? You told me to come here. <laughs> Waste some time, right? Right, Hasifa? You would think so. A lot of technology. Okay, uh, do you need me yet? No, not yet. We'll page you when we're ready. Why don't you catch up with uh, some work in your office while you're waiting? Can you just tell me to come here and chat with you while I'm waiting? Uh, what do you think the object will be? I don't want to make any assumptions yet. Personally, I hope it's an alien. it'll be an alien artifact. But really, I'm expecting it not to be. Pessimism is a sensible attitude. <laughs> that way, you can't get disappointed. Yeah. And I'm concerned about one of the crew. Are we really? I don't think I am. Um, could you remind me what our mission is? Is playing dumb one of your psychological mind games? We're mapping out the Karkaras galaxy. You know that. Think we'll find anything interesting? Sure, if you're a geologist. <laughs> and how are you feeling, Captain? Hell, I'm always content, you know that. You're retiring after this post, right? God, don't remind me. I command have done so constantly over the last few months. I could have wished for a slightly more memorable final mission. Let's just see what the future holds. <laughs> oh no, that's classic. Like, bad foreshadowing. Whenever in a movie, TV show, or now video game, if somebody says, oh, it's my last mission, I'm about to retire, that's a death sentence. This guy is a goner. Sorry, Captain, you're not going to make it. Oh, nice, Fantasma. You just got a new microphone, but you were having some problems with your software. Is it working better now? And a character, sure hope nothing bad happens, right? It's kind of like in horror movies. Never say you'll be right back. That's when you're going to get killed. Okay, well, I should get back to work. Drop in anytime you want to talk. It looks like he has like a hidden door back there. It's not like I have much else to do. Oh, I was hoping I could snoop around his office and like look at everything, but it wouldn't let me. Okay, what is in the elevator? He said I should go back to my room. Let's try that first. Oh wait, this isn't it. I'm not even sure which floor that is. I guess we have to look at that map. It's the conference table with built-in tabletop plasma screen. Ah, plasmas. They went back to plasmas. I still have a plasma TV. I don't use it for anything right now. It's not plugged in, but I want to move it to the garage and then hook up a bunch of uh, retro games to it. Okay, there's command deck, residence, ops, Observation, engine deck. I think we're probably in ops. Oh wait, this is ops. Okay, that's where we are. Let's look at the map again. Counselor's office, seven. We're in the communal floor, okay. How do I get out of this? Oh, there we go.
Just try all the doors. Fantastic. Oh, they have arcade games. Um, the thing, the thing is, some games only let you record using the Xbox game bar, which causes your microphone to sound awful. And other games let you use the NVIDIA software, where it's still a bit of a problem, but the sound is much better. And when you record in Audacity, it's perfectly clear. That's weird. I mean, my only recommendation, because a lot of those pieces of software, depending on what you're doing, are kind of limited. Download OBS. That's what I'm using to stream right now. But you can also use it to record things. And you have tons and tons of options as far as how things work. Which means, because it's so widely used, there's also tons and tons of how-to guides on YouTube. You can make it as simple or as complex as you want. But you should be able to get kind of the best of both worlds using OBS. Be, don't get Streamlabs OBS. Just just called OBS Studio, I think. And it's, it's totally free. There's nothing to buy. And it works great. I love this game, but I can never work out what to do with a disembodied brain in a jar. <laughs> That's got to be a reference to something. I'm not sure what. I'm sure there are better things I could be doing. No, there's literally not better things you could be doing than playing games right now. <laughs> it's no fun to play on my own. What is this thing? Through a combination of holographic and force field technology, this table can simulate snooker, table tennis, subutio, and pretty much anything. Oh, that's cool. Yes, Phantasma. Yeah, just get the regular OBS. Now, Streamlabs at one point was okay, but they've gone heavy, heavy, heavy into the monetization, basically trying to like nickel and dime streamers for features that are typically free elsewhere. So yeah, skip that. It's less bloated. Get the regular OBS. Especially for your use case, you'll never need the Streamlabs one. I'm sure I'd be brilliant at this if we had any darts. Oh, they don't have any darts? Darts is fun. Some works of popular fiction for those with no sense of fun. And some board games. <laughs> and Alex, you've been using OBS for the whole period you've been streaming, recording, and etc. Nice. I started with OBS, and then when Streamlabs OBS came out, I tried it for a bit because I was using Streamlabs for notifications. It's like, why not have it all built in? And then Streamlabs started to like add a bunch of bloat to the software where they can sell you stuff and things like that. And I kind of saw where it was going. And I quickly got out of there and right back to regular OBS. And I've been using it ever since. There's a vent on the floor here. It's just an air conditioning vent. Nothing special. <laughs> Pretty boring. Oh, and Hasifa. So Subutio is a table football game in which players simulate association football by flicking miniatures. Oh, that's kind of neat. You actually physically get to flick it to play football. William, Dr. William Taylor, the rookie ship physician. This is who we were talking to in the beginning of the game. William? Well, hello, John. How are you feeling? Better, I think. Talking to you helped. I would like to come and talk again in the future. Sure, just come track me down. It's what I'm here for. And what do you think of the alien object? To be honest, I'm not that bothered. I'm just a physician. <laughs> it won't matter to me unless someone injures themselves on it. Hint, hint, maybe something like that's about to happen. And uh, what are you doing there? Just reading some scientific papers someone sent me. It's incredible what they can do with nanites these days. Over my head, I'm afraid. What are nanites? Like nano machines or something? Okay. I better get back to work. I, I Probably Phantasma. I'd have to double check, though, just because you know how websites like to make a fake one that's very similar to a real one. It's probably correct. I'm sure somebody can help you. I can't look right now. A cabinet full of medical supplies. Can we check it out? William has the only key. Okay, so that'll be important information later. More of a medical futon, really. And this chair. It's a therapeutic massage chair. The captain spends a lot of time in here. Nice. Okay, perfect. Thank you guys for confirming that. Okay, let's check this out. You know, it's kind of funny. A lot of us use um, Discord for, like, voice calls, you know? But somebody, I don't remember who it was online, like Linus Tech Tips or something. Somebody was saying, if you do a voice chat with, like, Steam, it's actually way better quality. It uses more bandwidth, of course, so you have to have the internet for it. But I guess it's much clearer audio than Discord even has. It's like, I had no idea. 
I've always used Discord when I play games with friends and have to chat. Is there anything we can do here? I suppose I should take another look through the personnel files, in case this is a first contact scenario. Attention, Dr. Somerset. Dr. Somerset, please report to the cargo bay immediately. I should use a voice for that, huh? Do I have a voice set up for that? Let me try one. I'm just going to see how this sounds. Test, test. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. I'll use that next time there's like an intercom message just to like change it up. <laughs> then again, possibly not. Yeah, Discord is so convenient, right? Although if you are playing games on Steam, then I guess that might be more convenient technically. TeamSpeak. There is a name I have not heard in a long time, Hasifa. <laughs> Plucky, you read my mind. Good idea. <laughs> I think we're about to open this thing up. Where do they say we need to go? We're in communal. Uh oh. That was weird. Oh, I think because I moved it. Ventrilo! Oh, I haven't used that in a long time either. Uh, cheesecake. How you doing, Cheesecake? Okay, cargo bay and cargo's 12 and engineering. Okay. Let's use the elevator. Or you could use Skype. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. <laughs> what is this? Like a bathroom? I think it's the controls for the brig force field. Oh, this is like a prison. Like you lock somebody up in here when they're being bad, huh? <laughs> because it's flickering, it's hard to click on. The force field is operational, preventing access to the brig. Oh yeah, I used to use ICQ and AOL Messenger. I remember those. Oh nice, 99. I know you played piano. That's fantastic. There's something right there, but I can't click on it. Jeez. This thing's kind of scary. You have to walk right by it. I'm reliably informed that this is what keeps the ship ticking, uh, ticking over. What keeps the ship from ticking over? Yeah. Anything else to look at here? And the railing. <laughs> I do not have that number memorized, Cheesecake. You know, it's funny. I still have phone numbers from friends in high school memorized because I dialed it so many times. But, um, like... I can't remember their cell phone numbers now because I never have to dial them. I just look for their name. Ah, uh, the good doctor has graced us with his presence. Hey, we got the artifact. Let's get this show on the road. What is it? It's a box. A metal box. Now come on. Let's do this by the book. Angela? Thank you, Captain. Examination of the unidentified object. 27th of July, 2385. Object is rectangular, approximately 2.5 by 0.4 by 0.4 yards. Initial scans indicate it is being constructed from a combination of lead and base metals. Interesting. It's, uh, they're, they're measuring in yards, huh? Are the automatic hazard neutralizers activated? Yuppers. Then I am now opening the object. Like, get a clean room suit or something. Wait! There's a plaque on this side of the box. Really? What's it say? Here lies John Defoe, finally at rest. Do not disturb his sleep. 11 9 1997. Do not disturb his sleep. Then there's a date and a little drawing of a hat. A what? I think it might be some kind of signature. Who the hell signs their name with a hat? What do you think, Angela? The words seem to indicate human remains. Ethically, disturbing human remains is frowned upon. Yeah, a little bit... We should take it to a better equipped space station and leave it for the researchers there. <laughs> the captain's not going to like that. Hmm, yes, I agree. This isn't something we should be concerning ourselves with. I'll patch a message through to the high command and explain the situation. Wow, he's actually going to do that? I totally thought he was going to just open it. So much for first contact, eh, John? I'm just a little confused as to how human remains ended up floating around the Carcharis galaxy. Caracas. 
a lot of people were buried in space around the beginning of the 21st century. I think it was sort of a trendy for a while. Even so, to have gotten as far as this galaxy after just a few centuries. Look, don't worry about it, alright? Now, I don't know about you, but I'm turning in for the night. Now, remember, 97, nobody was being buried in space. It was been buried in Earth. So what the hell happened there to cause it to, you know, appear out here? Monday. Oh, cool. We're going to go day by day. Jada, it is a new game. How you doing? Oh, no. Now, that name, Defoe, that was the thing haunting... Oh gosh, we just woke up from a bad nightmare. That was the thing haunting the house uh, in the first game. God, what a nightmare. I can't even remember what was so scary about it. I can't believe you didn't just hit your head on the top of that. That's odd. I can't hear the engines running. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh, did you just get off school, Jada? And you have your parents' phone numbers memorized, but that's it. I don't even have that 99. I have Andy's phone memorized, and that's about it. True. You know, I mean, it, I think I had 97 listed on the uh, on the um, metal box, which that would have been 20th century. That always confused me that like 20th century is the 1900s, 21st century is the 2000s, you know? Why can't we hear the engines running? That's weird. I feel like I want to save it again. <laughs> because of course I do. <laughs> Something bad's about to happen. Okay, we got some lockers here. Let's check this out. And in 2100, they just throw them into the sky, right? Plucky. <laughs> it's an electronically locked storage locker. Oh, does that mean we can use our uh, key card? Hey, you know, it's looking here. Some of my old psychology textbooks I like to refer to now and then. Should we take them? I've already read them hundreds of times. Can we use the other locker? That's Adam's locker. Okay, so there's our bunk and Adam's bunk. Jada, we're doing a new game because we beat Danganronpa. I sleep on the bottom. Adam takes the top. Oh, so you're bottom. Huh? See how it is? Neither of us use this desk, but there's one in, there's one in everyone's quarters. And a wrench set. It's a set of miniature wrenches I gave to Adam for his birthday. Can we take it? <laughs> we gave it to Adam. We just jacked it right back. Apparently, take backsies are allowed in uh, space. Oh, and you're going to lurk. You to keep the string on. going to go finish an essay. Oh, thank you so much, Girl Tomato. Good to see you again. Glad to hear you're doing so good in school. And thank you so much for the, lo uh, the lurk. Oh, true. We should definitely close our locker, right? It's the door to the tiny toilet and shower room. Let's see if I can close this first. Nope. All you can do is try to, like, take it. I don't need to right now. All right. Let's see what's out there. I wonder why the um, ship is not moving or the engine's not running. The door has to be open from the key card panel. Okay. Oh, I probably can't do this. I guess we can ring the doorbell for everybody. Is that you in the game? The character's name is John, Jada, but no, it's, it's not technically me. <laughs> I did not make this game. Uh, we came from that one, right? About this door. Hey, there's somebody. There's Adam. Still learning their names. That's Lieutenant Adam Glenn Cle uh, Gil Kenny, my bunkmate and the ship's engineer. I don't know if we talked to him. Adam? John? <laughs> Why aren't the engines running? It's probably a temporary power outage. Probably? You mean you don't know for sure? I just woke up and it was like this. I'm just waiting for the emergency systems to kick in. Hi, Georgie. And he's holding Georgie right behind me. And he's growling. Yeah, welcome to Chahancadia. You know, I used to have a running joke with uh, a family member. Because whenever I go to like Starbucks or someplace and they have to write my name on a cup or something, they usually put the H. 
unless I say my name's Jonathan, and then they usually get rid of that first H. But if I just say John, I get the extra H. And then because it was always kind of an inside joke, they started adding more H's in my name if they'd give me like a birthday or Christmas card or something. And eventually they just put like H H J H H O H H H H H N H H. It was just a big string of H's with my name somewhere hidden in there. Or they would just say 2H and that'd be my card. So where's everyone else? Exactly. Just like that, Phantasma. <laughs> yeah, bunk me. You mean your top, huh? So where's everyone else? How should I know? They could still be in bed on other decks. It's not like they have to explain their movements to me. I love it when they answer with sarcasm when it doesn't even make sense. Sorry. I'm worried, Adam. Just relax, okay? We just need to wait for the power to come back on. Why don't you sit down and have a little breakfast? Ah. <sighs> I mean, what's crazy is like, he's the engines guy. He should be way more concerned about what's going on. <laughs> oh no, you forgot the H, Phantasma. <laughs> the new channel name, just, just H. I bet H is actually taken. If you can have a single character channel name on Twitch. How are you feeling? You know me, John. Spring chicken, glasses half full, happy little bunny and all that. Adam, just stop fussing, all right? You're not my mom. I'll see you later. Sure. Okay, let's check this place out. There's a hatch right here. What is this? It's an entrance to the maintenance tunnel on this deck. I don't know where the ones on the other decks are. Ah, see, this is like the vent in Among Us, right? Jada, it would be super fun to make a game. However, that is just way too time consuming with a full-time job. But maybe like in retirement or something. Because I mean, I have coding experience. It would be really fun to try to like program a game on the side. I'm guessing I probably can't try to open this up. It's screwed shut to prevent people like me from ruining the ship. Can we use our wrench set on it? Why would I want to do that? Okay, so we probably will be able to later, is my guess. Oh, a dispenser. Is this where we get our food and drinks? That's the food dispenser. It takes material from the garbage processor on the deck below and converts it into edible matter with nanomachines. That's disgusting. Let's try some. <laughs> oh no, Jade, I'm so sorry to hear that. Did you get busted? Did you get uh, detention or something? The dispenser is currently set for breakfast. What should I have? Full English, continental, or nothing? What do you guys think? Full English breakfast or continental? <laughs> I don't know what the difference is. Well, continental, I always hear about that when I go to like a, uh, you know, a hotel and they have a, their free continental breakfast. I don't know what a full English breakfast is. And Plocky, if the power is off, oxygen would stop working, stuff like that. Yeah, we kind of need that, right? Yeah, continental sounds safer. <laughs> I'm just because I'm familiar with it, right? Let's try this out. Continental. How long does it take? Come on, nano machines, hurry up. I'm gonna look at the counter while I'm waiting. It's just a counter you sit at while eating. The seats are close together to encourage social ability. <laughs> Fish and chips with tea. There you go. Full English breakfast. I don't think it's doing anything. Let me try it again. The dispenser only lets you have one meal at a time. How long does it take? Come on, nano machines. Oh, wait, I think I got the food. The theory was that we could gaze the pretty stars go past while eating our meals and be too struck dumb with wonder to complain about the quality of the food. That's pretty smart. Yeah, there's breakfast. It looks like a first aid kit or something, doesn't it? Oh, we're just going to sit right next to him. I guess to promote sociability here, I am thinking like six feet. Let's be on the other side of the room. I hate the butter they serve with these things, so I won't eat it. You hate butter? I don't know if I trust this, John. Okay, I think we're done here. Let's go out this way. So the English breakfast is bacon, egg, sausage, and the dish is usually accompanied with grilled tomato, mushrooms, fried onions, toast, and marmalade. That sounds pretty dang good, actually. You got told off for no reason, Jada? Are you sure? Are you sure no reason? <laughs> You weren't like talking or 
goofing off, just, just no reason. Not saying you weren't. Just saying. I know how I felt when I would get in trouble, and usually there was a reason, but I did not agree with it. Plastic, of course. No real plants survive long in the stale atmosphere. <laughs> Jada, you're sure? Well, I'm sorry to hear that. That's a crappy teacher. You should probably report them if they keep doing it. That's right. No COVID in space. The elevator doesn't appear to be working. Oh, we're stuck here. Wait, now what do I have in my inventory? Oh, the butter. Oh, that's why they specifically said you didn't want to eat the butter. Now we have it for like a puzzle later. Okay. Let's try talking to him again. Maybe he wants our butter. Adam? John? The elevator isn't working. <laughs> yeah, the power's not working. Yeah, I know. But I can't work on it if the doors won't open. The maintenance panel is on the inside. What about the elevator shaft? Hey, you wouldn't be trying to tell me how to do my job, would you? <laughs> no, I... If there were a problem with the shaft, or in the shaft, I'd know. We have alarm systems, fail-safes, that sort of thing. Could you check all the same? You know your problem, John. You're too uptight. This is nothing but a little temporary outage. It'll all be working again in 10 minutes. <laughs> He's that guy that, like, Actively tries to avoid work, you know? He's not doing anything. He's not eating. He's just like, I just don't want to work. We'll just wait. See what happens, right? Oh, you did some soccer training, though. That's super fun, Jada. Nice. Okay, so I think we're going to try this ourselves. So since he won't look in the hatch, let's see if we can. Yep. Now we can do it. What are you doing? I'm going into the maintenance shaft to see what's wrong with the elevator. Because you sure don't want to do it. Well, if that makes you feel any better. That's a huge shaft. We can stand up straight in this place. Nice. What's the deal with this up here? I guess I can't look at that. Oh, I bet that's the air conditioning we saw earlier, huh? I should probably save it. Scared we're about to die. It's too dark to make out what this is, but it seems to be lodged in the elevator mechanism. I mean, it looks like a lever, doesn't it? I guess we'll try grabbing it. This is going to be bad. NASCAR! How you doing, NASCAR? What's up, dude? I think this is going to kill me. It's stuck between two components. Some lubricant might help. Ah, we got some lubricant. How about some butter? I think I clicked on the wrong thing. Here we go. Okay, I've smeared butter around the components and the object. Now let's try lifting it. Okay, good. We should have died. It's some kind of old fashioned bladed weapon. Are these blood stains? Oh, that's not good. A bloody weapon we have in our inventory now? It's a machete. Is this Friday the 13th? I was making a joke that Jason X is not a good space horror movie. It's going to turn into that. Oh, NASCAR, I'm doing great. I'm looking forward to a long weekend. I'm actually taking a Thursday off. So I was going to tell you guys at the end of the stream and in Discord, but we will not be having a stream on Thursday. The next one will be on Saturday. <laughs> oh, yeah, someone's super dead. Or it could be jam. I mean, this is England, right? They like their toast and tea and all that. Okay, let's try to get out of here. And your Google Assistant is looking for a machete because of this jam. <laughs> Were you trying to talk to it, huh, Stephen, just when I mentioned that? Okay, let's just go ahead and tell him what we found because he just does not want to do his job. Adam? John? Oh, we can't say anything. Oh, maybe now we can try the elevator? Although if there's no power, we still can't open it, right? Interesting. I don't know. Maybe maybe after training it, Hasifa, our voices are kind of similar. So it's like, ah, eh, it's probably him. Maybe. Oh, that'd be awesome, Jada. Yeah, sometimes schedules work out that way, right? Okay, so we are on the residence deck. No, engine deck? No, I think we're on residence deck. Let's check out... Communal deck. 
Oh, the elevator is working. Okay. I think the uh, captain... No. Captain's on a different floor. Let's just check out all these. Dr. William Taylor, the rookie ship's physician. Oh, yeah. We already did that. John? I'm scared if I show him the machete, Plucky, they're going to tell us we're trying to kill him. You know, use machete on engineer. Hey, there's some kind of problem with the ship. What kind of problem? Some sort of power outage. And the engines are down. How odd. I did wonder why no one had gotten in touch. What's interesting is like, it's not a total power outage because there's lights everywhere, right? And did I see that Fallen Order sequel is supposed to come out next year? Oh, no, I didn't, Phantasma. That's pretty quick. Very nice. And it might be an anthology. Hell yes. And 99, you're setting up your microphone for OBS since you switched to your laptop and everything. Nice, 99. And uh, Jada, add more buttons for rewards so we can jump scare you on stream. Some of the sounds are kind of jump scares, actually, already, Jada. You just have to know which ones. I will not spoil that for you. Um, so how did you get here when the light lifts were down? That's a good question. Maybe he never went back to his room. The lifts were down? I'm afraid I've been here since last night. What? I suppose I just lost track of time. Don't worry. I'll go get some sleep soon. I should hope so. That's weird. That's really weird. How are you feeling? Fine. A bit tired, maybe. Why? Is there a reason I should be disturbed? Never mind. I mean, you, you basically stayed up all night and didn't even notice. Probably just because I'm getting old. It's really hard to stay up all night. <laughs> Are you serious, Phantasma? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I wonder who... If that was the gaming companies or like Disney or who controlled that decision, that's ridiculous. No, you can't use the tickets, Jada. Only tokens for the sound effects. All right, let's check out this door. Oh, that's our room. That's right. Oh, you know what? Before we were trying to look in here, but we didn't get a chance to. Oh, it says he's finished with work at the moment. Okay, let's check out another floor. That's so ridiculous, Phantasma. I can't believe it. Especially the fact that they did it in a way where it could come out. So now, you know, get ready for tons more bad news for EA, right? Uh, Publicity-wise. I think this is where the captain is. Dr. Somerset. Is the lift operational again? After some persuasion. Okay, I think I can kind of pause the game by moving my mouse up here. So if I ever have to take a break from chatting... When there's a conversation going on, I can do that, which is nice. So, what's going on? The captain appears to have gone missing. What? Nobody's seen him since yesterday evening. When we were attempting to scan the ship interior when the power went down, the escape pods are all still here, so he must be on board somewhere. Oh, that's weird. Weird thing is, I can't isolate the cause of the power outage. I tried to send communication to high command, but for some reason it won't send. Maybe because it needs power? The thought, since you're here, could you help start searching for the ship? See if you can find Adam so he can get the engines back on. We actually already talked to Adam. He could care less. He's sulking in the canteen. He's acting odd, like he doesn't care about what's going on. Confidentially, I think he's afraid of something. Well, that's your territory, not mine. Keep in touch. Sure. Okay, so he would be in here, but I probably can't open this door, right? No reply. Can I just force my way into the door? Nope, has to be open from within. Oh, I saw that, Jada, about Fall Guys going free. That's pretty exciting. Although, I already have it on Steam, so that's okay. But they did take it, or they're going to take it away from Steam. Because that is, you know... Uh, What's the company's name? Um, Epic's <laughs> Apparandum, you know, to basically take everything off Steam they possibly can that they own, which I understand. So if you do want it on Steam, unfortunately, you do have to buy it before it disappears. Otherwise, you can never get it on Steam. It's just going to be removed from the store I read. 
Okay, here's all the escape pod hatches. I don't see anything weird there. <laughs> Fantastic. We'll just give you a touch of diversity. Nothing more. <laughs> Probably less. If you have it there, Plucky, you're perfect. Yeah, if you own it, they don't take it away, but they're going to make it so you can no longer get it there once this thing happens. So you'll be able to get it for free on Epic and PlayStation and Xbox, but you can't get it anymore on Steam. Let's check the observation deck. This is pretty cool. What does that sign say? <laughs> right, fantastic. Look at all this diversity. It denotes that this is the observation deck. But yeah, Plucky, you can totally keep playing on Steam. And I think you still get updates and everything. I don't think there's ever been a case, maybe there has, but that a game that you've purchased on Steam is no longer playable, which is one of my favorite things about Steam. Um, there's times where uh, a game is taken off, so if you haven't bought it, you can no longer get it. But if you already purchased it, you're good to go. Okay, I admit it. That's pretty. <laughs> Blonde hair, brown hair, blue eyes, green eyes. What more do you want, Phantasma? <laughs> That is true, Hasifa. You could get it on another launcher and then add it as an external game, a non-Steam game, but all the Steam functionality doesn't always quite work right with that. Okay, let's check the engine room. There's the brig. Nobody in the brig. Oh, this is where the box was. This is the last place I want to go. Let's save it. I don't like that noise. Yeah, see, now we're going to see that it actually did open like we saw in our dream. Someone must have opened it during the night. So we got to take a peek, right? It's completely empty. I'm not sure if I should be relieved or disappointed. Wait, why is it only those two? What about terrified? Why is that not an option? Okay, there's like a couple doors up here, it looks like. It's the panel that controls the cargo bay door. What is this? That leads into the operator's booth for the external grappling claws. We go in there? I'm not allowed in there. <laughs> no, we cannot. What about this? I could never in a million years open those with my bare hands. But can you use this? The security control or security locks are in place sensibly enough, and I don't know how to override codes. And here's an airlock over here. Phantasma. Was that a pun or was that accidental when you say that casting a redhead took bravery? Like the movie Brave? Da -da. Never mind. That's the inner airlock door. Can I do anything with it? It requires a special pass card to open. <laughs> I know it's sarcasm, Phantasm. I thought it could also be a pun to brave redhead, you know? Oh, Alex, thank you so much for the lurk, dude. You have a good, good one. Hopefully work goes very quick and easy for you. Okay, what have we not looked at yet? I feel like we've been everywhere in the ship except for the captain's office, which we can't get into. Let's check uh, the residence deck again, see if we can talk to our buddy who's acting weird. Adam? John? I love how he just always replies with that. Oh, did you know the box is open? Now we have more to tell them. What box? The box you brought aboard in the cargo bay? It must have fallen open when it thawed or something. Anything in it? No, nothing at all. Very Twilight Zone. <laughs> and the communications aren't working. Any idea what could cause that? Well, if it's not because of the power outage, then it'll be a foreign object lodged in the communications pylon on top of the ship. It's usually an asteroid or something. Are we going to have to go up there and mess with that? Can you repair it? Well, this is all speculation, of course. 
Why don't you go outside and take a look at it for me? I'll give you the access pass or airlock pass. Sweet. Why don't you come too? Sounds like a good try good time. Well, if it turns out to be nothing, then we'll have wasted both our times. Not to mention the oxygen tanks and the EVA suits. Are you afraid or something, Adam? Beg your pardon? Never mind. <laughs> Let's ask him one more time. How are you feeling? You know me, John. Oh, yeah, same thing. Okay. I'll see you later. Still acting weird, isn't he? I think he is. And Kamashita, is Taji here? No, I haven't seen Taji this stream. How you doing, Kamashita? It's good to see you too, dude. You have a funny to share, but it has to do with a tabletop RPG campaign that you're planning he'll be a part of, so I can't share if he's here. Oh, I see. You can share. Well, I can't say for sure, Kamashita. I, I can't exit the game right now because of the way this game works, but be sure you click on your little users button at the top and see if you see him in the list of people currently watching the stream. I don't think he's said anything yet, so I don't believe he's here, but sometimes he lurks. So I double check just to be sure. <laughs> Phantasma, you forget Brave exists. Same. I saw it once, never again. It was good, but I don't remember it being like super, super memorable for me. Oh, I know he's been super busy with work and everything, Kamashita. Totally understand. Totally understand, especially with my schedule and stuff. <laughs> the chat on VODs remembers, it remembers everything. Okay, let's check out, I think it was under the engine deck. I think that's where the airlock was. Do we have to go put on a suit or something or does that happen automatically? But yeah, Phantasma, we have seen Tajay, I think in the last stream, just for a little bit. He came in kind of towards the end. Or at least he started chatting towards the end. Okay, I'm going to definitely save it again. Um, use the airlock pass. There's a switch and a light. It denotes that the interior door could be open without depressurizing the ship. That means it's a good thing, right? <laughs> oh, oh, how was it, Phantasma? I haven't gotten a massage in a long time. This controls the exterior door mechanism. Okay, let's try this. The safety lock is in place. It won't open. Oh, do I have to mess with this one first? Okay, now it's closed. There we go. Holy cow captain katamari how is it going it is good to see you that is five months you have been subbed katamari <laughs> how you doing dude good to see you let me drop some tokens for you guys and what's new katamari how you been i really appreciate that we are just playing a new game well new game for me not a new game in general called uh seven days a skeptic kind of a uh sci-fi horror-ish uh, point and click adventure game really cool so far let's see oh you had one big knot to get done and it was good phantasma have you ever gotten one of those like massage guns uh i got one for andy for christmas and there's some spots that i still got to help her with but a lot of those like nasty things she can actually work out herself it works pretty good but if it's in your back kind of hard to do that by yourself <laughs> okay let's try this one i'm not sure how to implement that Oh, there we go. I think I clicked the wrong one. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that's why you had to do that. Got it. <laughs> Load. Restore. <laughs> Perfect. That was amazing. And dead. There's no sound, which makes sense because space, right? Okay, so I think what we got to do is close this and open the closet, maybe? Ah, put on our suit. Then hit the thing. I was wondering about a suit. I kind of forgot there was like a door right there. Oh, no, Blocky. <laughs> Not only did we die, and there was tokens. All that breathing noise. That's kind of unsettling. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Wait. I have a clip. What do I clip to? Maybe I have to clip when I'm out there. It doesn't look too safe out here. I better observe, observe all the safety precautions. So there's a safety rail and a sign. Let's look at the sign. 
For your own safety, please ensure that your suit is firmly clipped to the safety rail before proceeding. So let's highlight this, use our clip. Okay, I'm safely attached to the rail. Nice. I couldn't tell. <laughs> oh, with the suit in there, Krem? I can see that. Oh, there's like blood stains up here. That's not normal. These steps lead to the top of the ship. Are you not going to like talk about the blood? I'll have to move over there first. I'll have to get closer. Wait, what? Can't get any closer. Oh, there's another safety rail. Do I have to uh, unclip and clip over here? I've unclipped myself from the safety rail. And then I clip back over here. Okay, now oh, I see, now we can move up and down. That makes sense. Bridge to Lieutenant Gilkenny. Come in, please. Actually, this is John, Serena. Dr. Somerset, you can't go on Eva. You're the counselor. Relax, I took standard Eva training with everyone else. Well, where's Lieutenant Gilkenny? Adam still doesn't want to move from the canteen. Something seems to have spooked him. This is most irregular. I'm just going to check out the radio masts and come right back, okay? Well, please be careful. Oh! Dr. Somerset, our scan shows that you're on top of the ship now. <laughs> can you see what's clogging the radio masts? Yeah, I can, actually. <laughs> I got a, good vi got a good visual on it. Dr. Somerset? Please respond. I'm here. Oh no. Tuesday. <laughs> it was it was only a Tuesday, guys. Uh Mondays, aren't they the worst? The captain is dead. Oh god. How? Someone stabbed him with this machete. He went outside to try and escape from his attacker. But the killer was very determined. This isn't happening. Who could have done this? It could have been anyone. Angela was the last person to see him. I walked with him to the elevator after we examined the locker. Last I saw him, he was heading for his quarters. Oh yeah? We've only got your word on that. Please, we mustn't stoop to baseless accusations. Ah, this is just among us all over again. I know that none of us are capable of this sort of evil. None of us had a reason to kill Barry. But there's no one else on the ship. It had to have been one of us. There's another thing. The locker is open. How is that relevant? You think the killer was hiding in there? Oh, please, doctor. I know this is going to sound stupid, but I have a horrible feeling that something was in that box. Something that got out. That does sound stupid. Your argument is unscientific. But for now, if, you're only more, if only for morale, I suggest that we proceed on the assumption that we are all innocent. What? There could be a murderer among us right now, and we're supposed to ignore that? Until we can get back in touch with High Command and start a thorough investigation. Oh, I've heard enough. What are you doing? I'm going to my quarters. And I don't want to be disturbed. This is all so sus. He knows something. I'm sure of it. Adam, please, save it. What are your orders, Commander? We have to get the communications back online. Then someone will have to move Barry off the radio mask. Yeah, I think it's you. I think it's your job, actually. And it sure as hell isn't going to be me. Lieutenant, it's okay. I'll do it. As you wish, Doctor. I'll get back to the bridge then. We gotta do all this guy's work. What the hell use is he? Dr. Somerset? Commander? Please be careful. I will. Thank you. Easy. And the machete's right here. We're showing this to everybody. It's the machete I found lodged in the elevator shaft. 
It's just a skeleton with ketchup. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Katamari. Maybe the blood spooked him. I don't think he saw any blood, Katamari. At least the uh, uh, the main the engineer guy, he hasn't seen any of the blood. We did. We apparently want to go back out there so it doesn't bug us too much. The doc is sus. And the new Nino Kuni game released globally on the 25th, and it's the MMO. Oh, I remember what you were uh, mentioning, that MMO on Mobile 99. Yeah, I hope it turns out good. And the doc is totally sus. He's trying to get someone thrown out of the ship. Whenever people start throwing blameless accusations, they look very guilty, don't they? Okay, can we take the machete again? I better not touch it. It's evidence. <laughs> How long do we hold on to that while it was evidence? Actually, before we go, let's see if we can talk to them anymore. Yeah, I still need to play one of the Nino Kuni games. If I only got to play one of the first two Nino Kuni games, which one would you guys recommend? Commander? Dr. Somerset? Should I call you captain now? There will have to be a proper hearing when we get back to high command. More likely, another officer of high rank will be appointed. And I must say, I find your remark in poor taste. Sorry. <laughs> it was kind of a joke, but not really, I guess. Uh, Barry's death was shocking, wasn't it? Indeed. But it is a sign of a good crew to be able to function after such an event. Captain Cahal uh, will have wanted us to strive on, not get bogged down. Do you suspect anyone? Please, Doctor. As a psychologist, surely you can appreciate why I can't answer that question. Okay. I suppose so. I really do have a bad feeling about that locker. The locker is old news, Doctor. It was little more than a miscellaneous space debris. Do not concern yourself with it. Even so, Barry dies on the same day we bring it aboard? The engines also went down the day we brought it aboard. Are you saying it could have caused that too? I mean, bloody machete, maybe? I have no idea anymore. And uh, any orders from me? Your orders are as always. You are responsible for the crew's mental well-being. Anything else you choose to do for the benefit of the ship is entirely up to you. Thanks, Commander. Until later, Doctor. And let's see. Um, and honestly, you'd be okay with both, but you think Nino Kuni 1 needs more grinding. Oh, might be. Might be. It seemed like I remember Nino Kuni 1, they worked with that Studio Ghibli, which I'm a big fan of. And I don't think they worked with them on C uh, game number two. So I don't know. I'm kind of more leaning towards one, but it seems like a lot of people think two is the better game. <laughs> normally i'm not a big fan of grinding but man now that i have that steam deck that makes grinding really easy when i work on something else right be watching something on tv hanging out with andy just playing it on the side okay let's talk to adam useless useless adam hey john why won't you come out on eva i don't need to you already did it once you could do it again god he's worthless it's a waste of effort for me to go I think you're just making excuses. Why would I want to do that, John? Stop picking on me. <laughs> There's no shame in being scared, Adam. It's okay, buddy. I'm not scared. Who the hell's scared? I'm just concerned about resources is all. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Any thoughts of what happened to Barry? There's something shifty going on. I know that. Did you see how William ran off? Yeah, he was in a hurry. I'm sure he knows something. That's enough, Adam. Trying to throw blame, right? Um, he does sound pretty terrified. I did get it, Katamari. It's fantastic so far. I've had no problems. I played some, uh, what's it called? Um, Elden Ring. Speaking of Elden Ring, you guys can see my new shirt. Andy got me an Elden Ring shirt. But yeah, I've been playing that on the Steam Deck. I played, I'm actually playing a lot of Hades on the Steam Deck. It's a game I started a long time ago, but haven't gotten anywhere near finishing. But it's a really fun pick up and play kind of game, which is perfect for the Steam Deck because you can just put it in like rest mode 
and then start it back up and it's already good to go exactly where you left off. Kind of like the Switch, but that's never really been a thing for PC gaming. So having that feature, I absolutely love it. It's so cool. So uh, 2 does have the art style. It's still Ghibli. Okay, that's good to hear. I don't know. If, yeah, I guess they didn't provide the animations themselves, but they kept a similar art style. And you still think 2 is a better game, but you like one more, but you recommend 2 and it's shorter. You like short games. Okay, let's tell them. I don't like your attitude. This is a waste. This is a time of stress and we all have to pull together. Cowering could get us all. Hey, back off. Who are you to judge me? I'm not afraid. All right. I'm sorry. I'll see you later. Oh, I just had to do that. <laughs> oh, if you could, I might have gotten distracted with. Oh, I see it up there. Kamashita. Luckily, I have that tall monitor. I did miss that. Um, so, yeah, you were research researching that tabletop RPG with a focus on fairies. And you were talking with your mom at dinner about the research you've been doing. And you think you traumatized your 89-year-old grandma with the mention because she only caught one sentence out of your mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> and she didn't believe us when we said we were talking about something fi fictional. And you were saying, I think we may have figured out how to keep the children from being eaten. Oh, no. I can't even imagine what your grandma's thinking right now. <laughs> I wonder what kind of like life experiences she's putting into that, you know, like, um, is this happening again? <laughs> You're like, what, what, what grandma? Okay. Let's uh, go ahead and save it again. So we have to go do another spacewalk and clear that body. So let's go ahead and go to engineering. Yeah. I think RPGs are going to be really good for me on that system because they takes up so much time. But when you can just plop in for a little bit, play and uh, keep it going like that, that's so handy. <laughs> Don't let fairies swap your babies, folks. Come on. So one has a hand-drawn animation by Ghibli, but they decided that the in-game engine was good enough for two. Oh, that's cool. Nice. And it definitely is because it's beautiful. Yeah, I love the hand-drawn Ghibli stuff, so I might play that one first anyway. But it'll be cool to upgrade to two with better mechanics later on. Okay, so be sure you do this in the right order, John. Um, let's go to the closet. Put this on first. Might as well, doesn't hurt. Here comes Skeleton John. Uh, let's go ahead and close the airlock. I, I feel like something's going to change since we were here. Oh, I did check the locker the first time, Plocky, and it was just completely empty. There was nothing in there. Um, I doubt anything's changed, but we could check on the way back. Okay, so we need to clip onto the safety rail. Walk all the way over here. I wonder how quickly you fall off if you don't clip. Now we need to unclip. Go ahead and clip over here. Now we can climb up. Oh my goodness, Bambi! <laughs> Bambi and Sappho. How are you doing, Bambi? Thank you so much for the sub 28 months. Listen, you can't decide which movie to show your students. Apollo 13, In the Shadow of the Moon, or The Right Stuff. I cannot properly give you an opinion on that, Bambi, because out of those movies, I have only seen Apollo 13. I've never even heard of In the Shadow of the Moon, and the right stuff I've heard about, but I haven't seen that. Didn't that have um, uh, Clint Eastwood in there or something like that? I know it has like some classic actors, if I remember right, but I have not seen it, so I can't say. I loved Apollo 13, though. I thought that was a great movie. And nice catch 99 and Plocky and 99 again. That's two. Nice. Okay, let's get this ASMR breathing out of the way and climb up. <gasps> the body's gone. Dr. Somerset, do you read me? Do you require any assistance with removing the blockage? Um, it seems not. Could you withdraw the masts for a second? Certainly. Serena, the captain's body isn't here anymore. What? It's gone. It must have gotten jarred off or something. When the ship's at a standstill? Anyway, we'll worry about it later. Send the distress signal. It'll take a few minutes for... Clonk. Thump. Oh no, did she just get knocked out? Serena, 
Come in, please. Hell. <laughs> so, hold on. Why did they even need anybody to come up here and move these? Like, they just retract. That could have gotten rid of the body. Uh, the communication masts are for transmitting and receiving subspace transmissions, as far as I know. Looks like someone lost a fight here. Looks like it was like almost a trap or something. Like, what if they told somebody to come work on this and then, bam, it just comes up and kills you, right? Can't budge them. All right, I guess we're going back down. <laughs> kind of a little bit, 99, yeah. I mean, the thing is essentially among us, right? Except that you create even more things as you keep playing versus just killing them. Although now that they have that shape-shifting among us ability, that is just the thing, pretty much. Okay, let's go ahead and close this. Guess we'll change. <laughs> it's not me, Grim. Get our uniform back on. I guess we could walk around in the spacesuit, but I don't need to hear that breathing the whole time. Oh, I know, 99. You know, I think Andy probably is not the biggest fan of the thing just for that scene alone with the dog. That's brutal. But it's still one of my favorite horror movies of all time. I love the thing. Let's double check the locker again. Someone must have opened it during the night. Still empty. Okay, so we should go to that command room and see what happened. No, Krim, they said we're all innocent until proven guilty. <laughs> I'm not sure how true that is. Let's go ahead and save it again. Okay, so we need to go to operations, I think. Yeah, that's where the captain's quarters and the bridge are. Oh, it, it, if you want to, if you're getting into horror movies, Blocky, I don't want to spoil anything. Definitely watch John Carpenter's The Thing. It's an oldie. It's as old as I am. It was made in 1982, but the special effects and everything is still really good. Like, it's one of those movies that holds up over time because there's no CG. It's all like practical effects. So they put a lot of artistry and work into there and it still holds up. I think they were in here. Starting to get uh, my bearings. Dr. Somerset, have you seen Serena? I was just about to ask you that. I was talking to her over the communicator. And then she just cut off abruptly. How strange. The trouble is, the distress signal still needs to be sent. And only she and the captain knew the communication code. Oh, how convenient. Uh, right. Commander, aren't you concerned for Serena's well-being? Should I be? It seems far likelier that she's simply gone to the toilet for something to eat. I'll go look for her. See if you can track down the captain's code book, too. Okay. I mean, it's probably in there, right? I don't know. This is so sketchy. I don't trust anybody here. Commander? Dr. Somerset? Oh yeah, Barry's corpse has gone. Excellent. You work quickly, Doctor. No, I mean, it's gone, and someone else moved it before I could. Are you sure? It could simply have fallen off the masts. Maybe, but it seems so strange. Counselor, please learn to apply logic more often. And Serena turned up yet? No, we're still in the same conversation. Regrettably not. Hmm. Thanks, Commander. Okay, let's check over here real quick. <laughs> yeah, not really. <laughs> Bad things are happening. <laughs> Honestly, I don't trust anybody. You got the lazy engineering guy. You got her acting sus by not caring. You got the, uh, or no, scaredy cat engineering guy. And then, who is that other guy that like, just like ran away scared? Then you got him. And nobody's acting normal. Adam? Hey, John. Did you move Barry's body? No. Why the hell would I do that? Then who did? 
Why are you asking me? You think I steal bodies as a hobby? Forget it. <laughs> Have you seen Serena anywhere? She went up to the bridge, didn't she? I think something might have happened to her. Look, I haven't moved from this spot, all right? I mean, I believe you, but man, you're so lazy. Move around. Hey, Michael, how's it going, dude? This is a uh, point-and-click adventure game, kind of a spooky horror space game. Really neat so far. It's kind of like a... Think of Among Us, way before Among Us came in, but with like a story. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, change floors. Looking for Serena right now. I don't think anyone's going to be in the observation deck, but we'll check it real quick. I love how fast we can move around this place. Check the communal area. It has 99. We I love point-and-click adventure games. They're so fun, and they're so much fun to stream, too. It's just, they're kind of easy to stream, I guess. But, uh, yeah, it's been a while since we've done one. Nothing here. Nothing here. That's our office. Well, we're probably going to check the people's rooms now. Good job, dude. How long did that take and how many deaths, Michael? That must have been really intense. Okay, here's the residential area. Let's check everyone's door. Nobody. I kind of forget whose room is whose. Leave me alone. William. He said leave. Okay. He's not going to be helpful. Nobody there. And this is our room. But I don't imagine anyone's going to... No, this isn't our room. This is the food room. Let's go ahead and check this area again. Just for the hell of it. I don't imagine anyone's here, but... I can't open it from here. Why would I want to? Wait, before we got in there, why can't we do it now? I guess not. That's fantastic, Michael. Good job, dude. <laughs> I would have died many, many times. You know, I remember though, when I streamed Resident Evil Village, I think I got through like nine tenths of the game before I died my first time. And then I died a few times right at the end, I think. Maybe I only died once. I don't know. I didn't have very many deaths, so. Okay, well, this is back to the engine room. There's not very many places to check. <laughs> I would probably be living in the kitchen, Krim. Although it, it says it turns your, your trash into, like, food. I'm not sure about that. We just came from there. I think I missed something else. Maybe there's a way to get into the captain's room. We don't have many items. We have our key card, wrench, and our key card. Always a good idea to save Flocky. I don't trust her at all. You know what? We can try using this other key card. Oh, says I don't think so. This card doesn't work in this slot. Bummer. No reply. Can't force it open. Let's see. Who's going to ask any orders for me? Your orders are as always. Oh, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. We are here at all this. Hmm. I don't know, Michael. We haven't really run into anything jump scary yet. But, oh, we should check the escape pods. Can I open these up? That requires a pass card key I don't have. Well, probably all of them do. Nope. Okay, so we can't do these right now. Yeah, it does look like the chair got knocked over because when we were talking to them on the phone, we heard like a thud. And then when we rushed up here, this happened. I don't see anything interesting. You don't notice the chair being knocked over being interesting? Can we use the console at all? Nope. I 
Maybe I do have to go back outside. Oh, you know what? I don't think we ever checked our room, did we? With the bunk beds? Maybe we did. Looks like there's a big hole right there, but it's not a hole. It's just like a porthole to like, you know, see out. You can't like go there. Oh, what's with this panel right here? One of the many maintenance panels that only the engineering understands. Can we open this up with our wrenches? I don't think so. Maybe later. It's screwed on pretty tight. Oh, that's cool, uh, 99. It's always fun to go back and watch a uh, Let's Play that you saw a long time ago. And funny that you see how bad they are now. <laughs> okay, this is where we work. Do we have anything in the desk? Oh, we're also supposed to try to find communication codes. Wouldn't even know where to begin with that, except for maybe in the captain's office. That's communal. Now let's see if we can check our room again. Was this one ours? That's the food room. Oh wait, I'm like ringing the doorbell. I need to use my key card. That's the problem, okay. See if there's anything in our desk. Nope, can't do anything there. What about his locker? I think we need to have his key card to open that. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm missing, guys. The body's removed, but we need to find um, the communications expert. and get that code to actually send out like an SOS, you know? Is there any room? Let's, let me back out of here real quick. Let's check the map again. Are there any rooms we haven't looked at? We've done the air. Well, I guess we can go back outside. I feel like we were just there. Cargo Bay, Reactor Corp. All happened. There we go. That was weird. <laughs> Sick bay. Counselor's office. Let me check the, um, unless I'm on the wrong path. The only thing I could think of doing, Hasifa, is I feel like I've only, haven't looked outside again. This way. So I suppose I go there next. And nothing new there. Yeah, the other key card we have is only for the airlock. So unless we have access, I don't think the airlock's going to get us anything except for, unfortunately, probably the airlock. <laughs> Would be handy. I think we're going to find another body that we can check and maybe we can take their key card and gain some more access. This is probably the longest process of this game is kind of like... Handling all this, you don't screw it up. There we go. I think I'm missing it. There we go. There might have been an item up here that I missed, actually. We go down? I didn't even think about going down. Okay, we're gonna clip back here. Let's try it out. Yeah, it looks like there are stairs that go down. Oh yeah, there is more down here. Okay, I never even thought about this. What do we got here? A key ring. I'll need to move closer. Oh, connect to the safety rail, John. Oh no, don't unclip. I was still clipped on there. Okay, now we're clipped again.
I can't get a good look over the edge while I'm attached to the safety rail. Oh no. Am I supposed to unattach my... Save it, John. Okay, so I have to unattach. And then get a look. We're gonna die. It looks like a key card on a ring caught on one of the components. Perhaps the captain dropped it? That would be amazing. Okay, let's try to reach it. It's out of my reach. So we need a, another item. I don't, I don't really have anything that could reach. Oh, oh, look at that. Ninja. He used that thing like a grappling hook. Got it. It's the card to the Captain Chahal's quarters. Okay, let's go ahead and put this back on. Now we can go back up. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like we're about to die, right, Plucky? <laughs> yes, Michael, when we're in this like suit, then you can hear our breathing. So I hope you like ASMR. <laughs> I wonder how much you can walk without being attached. Or it actually kills you. There we go. Let's get the suit off, stop the breathing. Good call. <laughs> <laughs> it's like every step I get scared. Although luckily we wouldn't lose too much um, progress. I swear every time I try to click on that, I miss it by like a pixel. What do you mean you're not sure how to implement it? So now you got to kind of walk closer. There we go. Oh, it took me five tries. Oh, maybe that was... Click on that little green light. Because, yeah, there's a light to indicate whether it's openable or not, huh? I think I was clicking a little too high then. Okay, so now we want to go back up to Ops area and uh, check out that room. Right here. I'm always scared I'm going to see a new dead body whenever I make some progress. Boom! I always wanted to go in here to check out all these other items. It looks exactly like mine, the desk. The drawers are locked. Okay, we can't get in there. You can tell this is the captain's bed. He gets brown sheets. What does that mean? There's a book here. It looks like the captain's code book. Oh, now we got the codes for communications. Mainly technical texts and a few classic novels. There's nothing of interest here. And a console right here. The captain's personal console allows him to perform several functions from his quarters. Oh, there we go. We saw this earlier in the game. Welcome back to your personal network interface, Barry. You have no new emails. There are no news items that match your preferences. Uh, enter help for available functions. Okay, help. I have to click OK. Standard commands. Help, email, news, date, captain, override functions, menu, and exit. Let's try email. I keep pressing enter. doesn't work. There are no new emails. Help. Uh, news. There are no news items. Give me old news items. <laughs> Give me anything. <laughs> Uh, date. That sounds about right. Help. Uh, Captain. Please enter your six-digit override code to access the intraship functions or type menu. Menu. We have to go look at that book. Help. Exit. So let's see if we, can we use the book here? How does that work? I don't think so. It's a book of codes used for the inter, internship communication. I don't think I can actually like just actively use it though. That might be it, Plucky. The brown sheets are just better. <laughs> At least they're unique, so different from the regular stuff. Well, I guess we just need to report that we have this code book. I can't actively like read the codes. Oh wait, check the bathroom first, John. Can I just use this now? 
Damn it. <laughs> I do have to use the key card every time. Just in case. Nope, don't need to use a bathroom. But there's a dead body in there. 190, that's a police number here. Really, instead of 911, Plucky? But you're in, is it Brazil? Is that right, Plucky? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, talk to her again. Commander, Dr. Somerset. Oh, no, we can't just do that. Um, let's try giving her the book. Is this what we need? Yes, that's the captain's code book. Find the communication authorization code and read it off. Hey, there we go. 11772. Thank you. This is First Officer Angela Garrett of the EFS Mephistopheles. Attention all ships in the immediate vicinity. We are in urgent need of assistance. Over. Officer Garrett, this is Captain James Linderman of the EFS Charisma. What is the nature of your emergency? Over. Engines dead by unknown means. Captain Barry Shahal has been murdered. All crew members currently suspects. Over. <laughs> Acknowledged. We are five days travel from your current position. In the meantime, sit tight, boys and girls. Over and out. Oh my gosh. Soon we'll be picked up and this will all be behind us. Five days? We have to sit and wait for rescue for another five days? When there could be a psychotic killer on board? Previously, Doctor, we were going to sit and wait for rescue indefinitely with a psychotic killer on board. <laughs> Touché. We should be grateful that events have improved, however marginally. John. Commander. I just saw the captain. You found his body? No, I saw him alive. He went down in the engine ducts. He was walking funny, and his clothes were all covered in blood. Uh, Lieutenant, the captain is dead. We all know that. I'm telling you I saw... Adam, are you absolutely sure you saw what you say you saw? I mean, there is absolutely no other explanation for what it was? I don't... I don't know. Probably. Counselor, perhaps you should escort the lieutenant back to his quarters. But I saw... Lieutenant, there is no logical explanation for your claim. You are obviously just tired or overstressed. Let's go, Adam. What was that all about, Adam? The captain is alive, John. Damn it, Adam. Barry is dead. I'm the one who found his body. Barry Chahal is dead, yes. But he isn't our captain anymore. What are you talking about? What the hell? The ship has a new captain, John. Oh, Adam! <laughs> That's the um, the killer from the first game, wearing that uh, like blacksmithing mask and going around killing everybody. In the previous game, he was like possessing people and basically making us do it. Gentlemen, the distress signal has been sent. All we can do now is wait. Where's Serena got to? I'm not sure. She did not come back to our quarters yesterday evening. Oh, God. This is going to turn out badly, isn't it? We have to remain optimistic. It's all very well just saying that. Er, sorry I'm late. Doctor, nice of you to join us. Er, yes. Uh, what were we talking about? Serena is missing. I was out on Eva checking on the radar masts. I heard some odd noises over the comms, like the sounds of a struggle. When I got back in, she was gone. Er, uh, really? That sounds shady. Is anyone else seeing a sort of pattern emerging here? I beg your pardon? Well, far be it for me to raise this. But you were the one who found Barry's body. And now you have first-hand experience of Serena's encounter, too. Does anyone else think that this is a bit coincidental? <laughs> now wait a minute. Oh god, just shut up, William. I've got records of all the communications on board. They show with no doubt that John was outside when something happened to Serena. Oh. Oh. 
Well, I'm so sorry, John. Forget it. I mean it. I was totally out of line. I hear... Uh, get back to the sit bay. Well, he's sounding so shady. Oh, man. The doctor seems to be getting worse. It can only be a matter of time before he cracks, if he hasn't already. We just have to hope that we can all hold on for five more days. Still seems mighty suspicious to me. Adam, please don't. I suggest we start searching. We begin searching for Serena. There's still a chance that she is perfectly all right. I've already been searching for her. What do you mean we begin searching? <laughs> oh, man. Seriously, Michael. See, we do get surprises like that in this game for sure. Oh, oh no. I try to save it and it says, sorry, not now. You never want to see that in a video game. Ever. Why can't I save it? I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, that was probably the closest that this kind of game gets to a jump scare, right? Serena? Oh, there she is. The hell? Where's she going? Oh, she could be going anywhere. Uh, observation deck? Let's just start from the top and go down. Oh, that's not her. Talk to Adam. Adam? Oh, hi, John. What are you doing here? It's just... I've never really looked at the universe before. What? I just wanted to come and look at it. <laughs> We're supposed to be looking for Serena. Come on now. I know, I know. But that can wait half an hour, can't it? God, he's acting so weird. I saw Serena. Oh, well then, uh, what are we also worried about? She's fine. I could have imagined it. Like I imagined Barry, eh? You sound like Angela. Are you feeling all right, Adam? Of course. Aside from the captain being dead and everything. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> I'm just fine. If you don't mind me saying, you've been acting very oddly. Ever since we bought, brought that locker aboard. You really think so? Can't say I noticed. I'll see you later. Bye. Gosh, everyone's just so fishy, you know? <laughs> Waffle Master. How you doing, Waffle? It's good to see you, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm searching for the key card. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so we're just going to start on the top and work our way down. Because we have no idea which floor she could have gone to. So let's check the ops deck. I wonder if it lets me save now. Oh, now we can. Okay. Let's talk to Angela. Let her know we saw somebody. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to find the security records for the last few days. For some reason, they're not in the usual directory. Could somebody have hidden them? That's weird. Possibly. Then again, the computer does run occasional self-cleanup programs. It's possible they could have lost, uh, been lost in one of those. I think I saw Serena in the hallway. Are you quite certain? Well, it was only for a second. I suppose I could have imagined it. I think that's quite lightly, don't you? I suppose. And I'm concerned about the others. Oh? Why? Adam knows something. <laughs> what makes you think that? He's very scared of something. For some reason, he's avoiding his duties. Counselor, a man is dead, and another is missing. Fear is very understandable reaction. I know, but... Ah, uh, never mind. He was acting afraid before we even found a dead body. So you can't really use that excuse, right? And Michael Adams definitely looking sus. <laughs> and Waffle, you're doing good. Finals are coming up and you've been studying. And you saw Avatar 2 trailer. It looks really nice, Waffle. I'm not sure about the movie just because, like, I don't know. The first one was a neat experience. Seeing it in 3D was really cool and all that. But, like, the story in Avatar 2, like, it's the type of movie you feel like you've seen, you know, 10 times. It's like nothing really new. It's kind of a 
formula we've seen multiple times before. So like, I'm not exactly like pining for the new movie, but I'm sure it's going to look breathtaking. The amount of money and effort they're putting into this is going to be astounding. So it'll be cool to see, but like are 3d movies even a thing anymore. I don't even know if movie theaters actually do 3d movies now. I'm not sure if they're still promoting that. Oh, and Plocky, if the files for communication in the past few days are gone, how did that guy vouch for you? Oh, that's very sus. That is very sus, Plocky. Mm -hmm. Something afoot. Okay, let's also tell her William is acting very oddly. Yes, I think that goes without saying. Do you find it suspicious? Well, I'm not really sure. We are in a very stressful situation. It can provoke strange reactions in anyone. But one of us has to be a murderer. I know, Doctor. I am choosing to disregard this until help arrives. That's a terrible choice. I would suggest we all do the same. Let's just pretend like nobody's killing anybody. <laughs> How are you feeling? I am concerned for the future of the crew. Yeah, no crap. But there is still work to be done. See you around, Commander. Until later, then. Oh, and so, Michael, essentially, we're on this, like, kind of excavation thing to, like, kind of repair and uh, check out, like, old ships, you know, that have been, like, dis discarded, I guess. And in our little explorations, we found, like, this big metal box just kind of floating in space. We brought it on board, and it looked kind of like a coffin or something, but w we decided not to open it because it probably had a body, so we called people to come pick it up. Well, throughout the night... We had a dream that the box actually opened itself up and we woke up to our nightmare and we come to find out that our captain had been murdered. And now we're uh, looking for Serena. So all kinds of crazy stuff is happening. Oh yeah, I gotta use this. I'm gonna do a thorough check of every room on the way down. And new TVs don't even support 3D more. I don't think so, Hasifa. You can't really buy one. If you have a VR headset, you can watch 3D movies, but that's probably the easiest way to do so. I've done that a couple times on the PlayStation VR. Um, I put in some 3D Blu-rays and they worked pretty well. But it's not like the highest resolution screen, you know? A PC would be better to do that with. And theaters still do 3D, and people do still like to go see 3D, but you never saw one. I used to see, I've probably seen like a handful of movies in 3D. For me personally, Avatar was the only one I thought was good in 3D. Every other movie I saw in 3D, it felt more like a distraction than anything else. Like everything just kind of was like, whoa, look what we can do kind of thing. And it's like, ah, oh, that just kind of takes away from the movie. You know, it feels more like a, a cheesy theme park ride than it does like a film. So I was overall not a big fan of it. Now, 3D in games is awesome. Like when you play VR or something and you get that true sense of depth, it's amazing. Let's talk to William. Oh, hello, John. Is there something you want to say to me? Uh, yeah. I really apologize for how I've been lately, John. I've been going through some stress. I can understand that. We'll say no more about it. And have you gotten over your anxiety? Oh yes, I'm absolutely fine now. No concerns at all? Well, just about Barry and Serena and all that. Yes, all that. <laughs> Any ideas about what is going on? I'm probably as stumped as you are. Maybe more so. I mean, I haven't witnessed any of these weird things going on. I'm still not completely sure of the situation. Well, if you come to tomorrow's meeting, you'll probably be filled in. Yeah, I suppose so. And have you seen Serena lately? Not since yesterday morning. Are you worried about her? Aren't you? Oh yes, yes, of course. But we should remain optimistic. If you think so... <laughs> Everyone's just like, hey, it'll be fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We're all good. And William, the theaters in Santa Monica still do 3D, but nobody really uses 3D anymore. Uh, 3D is the way of the dodo. And 3D TVs are dead, so basically 3D is dead, essentially. Now, 3D TVs, I think, could have been really cool, especially for gaming. But the reason they didn't catch on is, well, two main reasons. 
there was a uh, two types of 3D TVs. There was the passive glasses that were like kind of just the ones you got in the theater. And the problem with those is they make the screen darker than it actually is. So like whenever you watch a 3D movie, it doesn't look as quite bright and clear as a regular movie because you got these polarized lenses on your face. And then there was the active shutters, which they were glasses that you would wear when watching it on your TV at home. And the glasses actually needed to be synced up to the TV and they'd have to have a battery charge because it would basically block your vision and open it up really fast. You couldn't tell, but that's how it worked. And those were neat, but it requires batteries. They were expensive. And I guess the problem with all 3D TVs is if um, you were not sitting directly in front of it, it didn't look very good. So there is that problem as well. Man, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten for two days. What's wrong with you, dude? Um, let's go ahead and check out our room and then we'll go eat. And Hasifa, Alina's Tech Tips did a video about 3D and games had some good tech where you could play two player. Yes, I saw that actually. Um, I saw one, it wasn't even a computer game. It was um, PlayStation 3 did it, Hasifa. I don't think more than like two or three games ever supported it, but on the PS3, I think you had to buy the PlayStation TV. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, some like 32 inch TV with like big speakers built on the side. And if you had a PS3 hooked up to it, it could do that 3D for you to make it like split screen, but it wasn't actually split screen. Everybody got to see the entire screen, just them. It was a really cool idea. You only get to see it at like, you know, 30, 20 frames per second. It has to take the frame rate of the game and cut it in half to work. But uh, kind of interesting. Okay, let's get some food. I'll order a standard lunch. What the hell? There's blood all over this tray. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Do I have my food? Lunch. I'm not eating this. It's covered in something. Just ketchup. Can you get another lunch? The dispenser only lets you have one meal at a time. What if it's all blood? <laughs> what if I didn't want blood for lunch, huh, game? Come on. <laughs> that would suck, Plocky, if we could die of hunger. I don't think so. <laughs> I think they just wanted us to get that so we can show people that. Yeah, that, that idea, though, Hasifi, it, Hasifa, is such a neat idea to be able to play a two-player game and get an entire TV but no screen cheat, you know? You can't like just look at them and see what they're doing. I love that. There. Mondo Owada? I don't get the reference, what's that? <laughs> that wasn't Mondo from the game we were just playing, right, Plucky? The uh, uh, Danganronpa? Do we need to check outside? I'm gonna try not to do that right now. I feel like we need a reason to go out there, you know? Now that we've got the bloody lunch, I think we need to show that to people. Actually, we should, um, we went to our room. Can we check everybody's room here? I don't think I rang all these doorbells. He's not in his room. We went in our room. Okay. Um, Commander, the um, lunchroom is serving blood. Can I get something else? Something vegan? I can't even show her. We have to use this. I may need it. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to give your lunch to her. Um, hmm. Okay, so let's see if we can talk to, where's Adam? Maybe we do need to go outside the ship. Just for the hell of it, I'm going to check the observation bay first. Very top. See if I can show him this. It doesn't give me an error message. It just doesn't do anything. Adam? Oh, hi, John. There's something up with the vending machine. Good, now we can get a response. Uh, what do you mean by up? Everything I order comes covered in red goo. That does sound up. 
Sounds like industrial lubricant is getting into the matter translators. I'll look into it later. I'll see you later. He will not look into it. He doesn't look into anything. <laughs> he actually turned into butter. Oh, the butter. That's right. We've already used that. Um... Uh, there's one other person we can ask about that. <laughs> Man, the crew members are just dropping like flies. He was here, I think. Let's see, is this where the food is? No. I think it was in his office right here. Still kind of learning the layout of everything. Nope, nothing to say to him. I guess we're going outside doing another spacewalk. I can't think of anything else. I'm sure we'll find something horrifying. <laughs> that noise. I don't like it. I wonder if we could do anything with this. I'm not putting my hand anywhere near it. Okay, maybe not yet. What was this door again? I wonder if we can get in here with the commander's key. That leads to the operator's booth for the external grappling claws. I'm not allowed in there. Let's try the key card. Nope, can't do that. I think there's probably going to be a way to grab something out in space later. We might have to look through the window and notice something there, you know? Okay, get ready for your ASMR breathing. Oh yeah, gotta make sure I don't hit the light. And yeah, look how close those are. Just gotta go a little bit lower to hit the switch. Much better. So I'm gonna check the top first and then we'll check the bottom. Oops, there we go. Okay, that's still grotesque, but nothing really changed there. And it doesn't look like there's another way to go up here. Go back down. This way. Can I go further over here, or is that a dead end? Well, that's a dead end. Okay, we're missing something after we found that lunch thing. Maybe we're supposed to go check that out again. Oh yeah, Michael, it's pretty gruesome. <laughs> there was a dead body there, and then we uh, came back to clean up the body, and it was gone. We don't know who took it or what happened to it. Yeah, we still don't know who murdered them and who removed the body. You assume it's the same person, but we really don't know. Okay, well, at least we know there's nothing out here. You know, there is that little air conditioning shaft on the ground. I wonder if I'm supposed to do something with that. And here's the locker that started it all. We don't know what the deal with that is yet. Something about this scene right here reminds me of David Lynch. I don't know if you're a fan of his work, but it's very strange and creepy like that often. That room. Wait, is that where the food is? Yeah, yeah, this is where the food is. Let's try that one more time. If you're not going to get any more food, you just have to eat your blood. Come on. Nope, still only one meal at a time. Or do I have something to clean off the blood? <laughs> Can we just like rinse it off? That's ah, good. Five second rule. Okay, well, let's try going into the shaft again. We haven't done this recently. There's where I think the elevator or the air conditioning duct is on the floor. And then there's a safety door. We can't get it open and he doesn't want to. Oh, because the elevator's functioning. Okay. 
I guess that's why we wouldn't need to go in there. I was just like, we should check it for bodies again. <laughs> you never know. However, I guess that could be really dangerous if you're poking around in there and the elevator starts moving, right? Wait a sec. Do I need to check my books and stuff to see if anything's moved or changed? I always forget to use my... Oh, and clothes, too. That's right. Some spare clothing. Since the invention of dirt-repellent fabric, nobody needs more than two outfits. Wouldn't that make life so easy? And boring? But easy? <laughs> and there is something we can do right now? Oh, the uniform I'm wearing is just fine. I don't need that right now. I've already checked the desk. I figure it has something to do with the lunch, but I think I've talked to everybody since finding the lunch. Let's go back up the floor. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the PC we didn't have the code for. I tried like using a code, but it wouldn't let me like look at the book. But maybe now that he's used it once, He'll understand that he can just read a code out of there and use it on the computer, right? Good call. I totally forgot about that. Let's try... Oh, I don't have the book anymore. I don't know if I can use it. Oh, that's weird. Let's see, help. Captain. And the six digit code. Yeah, 11772. 8008S. 85. No. 58. Zero, zero, zero. No, okay, it doesn't work. <laughs> Maybe we can ask Angela for it. Hmm. Oh, did I type it in wrong? That had two twos at the end, Michael? Let me try one more time. Captain? With two twos at the end. Yeah, please enter your six-digit overwrite code to access the ship. I wonder if we can ask her for that again. Yeah, it's weird that we don't actually um, you know, even have this access anymore. Did it exit? There we go. I think I've tried to use it. Yeah, I think I might need another one. I'll see if I'm way off. I did find that one thing outside. I forgot that I could go down. Commander. <laughs> yep, nothing to ask her about. And there's something to do with the lunch. Hmm. Oh, you're right. We need six digits. That's too few. Good call. Yes, yeah, so that wasn't going to work anyway. What could we do specifically with the lunch? You know, I don't think I've tried giving it to um, the guy down here. And what did you do before people were lazy? Well, this guy's always been lazy, <laughs> but uh, we were a psychologist. This guy's a physician. Maybe we missed something in here. He says, I'm finished with work at the moment.
do anything with the lunch in here. I'm also trying to think, is there some place we can like shove the food that it might do something for us? There's this vent right here. There's an air conditioning vent and I can't open it with the wrench. Start opening the panel. We're still looking for Serena. I guess that's also our thing. Yeah, we asked the guy that's supposed to be fixing this stuff, and he wouldn't. He just mentioned it might be the nanites, but um, I don't know if we have access to that stuff. Like, we went to that vent up there, but we, that only goes to the elevator shaft. Um, maybe we could try to tear that thing apart. I didn't even think about trying to use a wrench on here, on the dispenser itself. Oh yeah, okay, you can use the tool there. Nice, okay, I think there's something lodged up here. I'll try to pry it out. What? It's a human hand. Freshly severed, I think. Serena. Was it Serena's hand? I'm almost certain it's a hand of a woman. That's not good. Okay, let's go uh, talk to the commander. Don't want to see Captain, that would be rude. Until it's official, right? Thank you, Hasifa. Yeah, I didn't even think about using tools on that. Good call. Therapy Android, how are you doing? Good morning, right? Good morning. What is new? How are you doing? I know, where's the rest of Serena, right, Plucky? Let's talk to the commander. Uh, I found something in the vending machine. It's not a prize. Here. A uh, hand? Whose? I can only presume it's Serena's. This is very troubling. Investigate further, Doctor. But be very, very careful. I will, Commander. Okay, so... I'm gonna, like, research this further. The only thing I can think to do is ask everyone about it, right? Like, hey, do you recognize this hand? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't give us any more access, you know? It's like if there were fingerprint scanners for the doors, we can get in her room. But we still need her key card. Yes, therapy. This is uh, Hasifa's request. Do you remember when we played Five Days a Stranger? This is like late last year. This is actually kind of the pseudo sequel to that. Adam? Oh, hi, John. I found out what was wrong with the vending machine. Oh, good call, Plucky. Oh, good. Look at this, Adam. Oh, for God's sake, John, that's gross. Get that thing away from me. I think it might be Serena's. I don't care. Get rid of it. Now, I'm assuming this is just going to say the same thing. Yeah. Interesting that they don't remove that once you've said it. Yes, therapy. Um, I love this style of game. And the writing in these games are actually really good. Let's go ahead and save it again. This one's kind of a spooky space horror kind of whodunit sort of game. <laughs> yes, whenever I'm reading everyone's voice, you get some strange sounding John voices. And John, you look like you're sitting like a banana. How does a banana sit? <laughs> kind of uh, all curved? I don't know. All right, so let's go to, I think, this guy was in communal. We got Adam. He's the one upstairs. This is William, right? Still trying to remember their names. Hey, William, you want to see something gross? Check this out. I need your opinion on something. Yeah, anything. Oh, yeah, he'll know whose hand it is, right? Oh, good God. Where did you find it? Would you believe lodged in the vending machine? What I don't get is why there wasn't a trail of blood leading up to it. This, the ship has self-cleaning walls, but they don't clean off of every trace of dirt. If you used ultraviolet light, you'd be able to see traces of human bodily fluids. Hold on a sec. Oh, are we going to be able to like track where the body was dragged? This 
this might help with your investigations. An ultraviolet light emitter. I appreciate this, Doctor. You better leave the hand with me. There are some tests I should run on it. Ew. <laughs> sure. <laughs> You're the doctor. I better go. See you around. Okay, let's uh, go back to here. No. It's at the, uh, where the rooms are. And then we'll do that. <laughs> yeah. Ah, classic. We found the, ha the hand in a vending machine. No less. We also found our captain dead on the outside of the ship. Kind of skewered on a bunch of communication rods. And then we went back and his body was gone. So we're having all kinds of fun. And we had a machete at one point. It was lodged in the elevator shaft, stopping it from working. Oh, Jada, that'd be too easy. More fun to forget the names every time I see them. So I should, I guess right here, use the ultraviolet light emitter. Oh, looks like it went to the shaft, didn't it? So how am I playing this game? Um, well, this game is actually completely free, Jada. You can just Google Seven Days of Skeptic and download it anytime you want. But uh, it's it's not a DOS game. It runs in Windows. And uh, I'm just using a mouse. Everything's mouse controlled. I don't think it works with anything else. Okay, let's go ahead and try this on the wall. Oh. The hand went up here. I think that's the air conditioning duct. So we probably need to go check that out. I forget which floor that was on. It might be the one directly above this, which should be right here. Yep, there it is. Okay, let's try the UV light emitter here. Now we have a reason to open this. And yes, Plocky, I know. Way ahead of you. <laughs> so we're about to get killed. Uh, let's open this up. Dear God. <laughs> oh shit. That looks like Serena's badge. How did you even notice the badge? Serena, what the hell is going on? Dr. Somerset? It is... Thursday. <laughs> what a concept. Oh my lord. What is going on? Ooh, what kind of ice cream you <gasps> Are you kidding me? They're going to put us in jail? We're doing the investigating. Do you really think so? Surely you must agree, as an intelligent man, that the evidence seems to point to you. She's got a gun. You seem to have been closely involved in the discovery of both bodies. Weird, you told me to investigate it. That doesn't mean anything. I appreciate the link is flimsy. This is more of a precaution until the proper investigators arrive. I'm so confused. It's like, it's like, it's like if, you, if you get upset with police because they keep running into crooks. That's their job is to stop crimes. I'm going to run into crooks. You tell me to investigate missing people, I might find bodies, right? Okay. Um, yeah, we should probably just save again, because why the hell not? And those tools that you uh, brought as a gift are really coming in handy. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Glad I jacked them. Okay, so we got a sink in here. Just basic utilities. There's a towel rack. A sturdy, hard plastic towel rack. And a bed. Doesn't look very comfy, but then I don't think they're supposed to. <laughs> Can we yank this towel rack off? Oh yeah, we totally just ripped that right off. Not that tired. Don't need to use the bed. Um, I'm going to try on the beams to use this towel rack. I don't think so. Let's throw the towel rack at Angela. I may need it. Let's throw our bloody lunch at Angela. I may need it. <laughs> Let's try it here on the beams. Oops, it's kind of hard to click the beams because they're constantly moving around. There's a lever here. We cannot reach it. I can't see it from here. 
Are there any other things in this room I don't notice? I guess we could just try talking to her. Commander? Yes, Doctor? Okay, let's just go through all these. This is a blatant abuse of power. I question your use of language, Doctor. You can't imprison people without cause. What are you talking about? You are the prime suspect in the killings. Admittedly, not on much evidence, but you are nonetheless. I have acted entirely logically. <laughs> this is great. See, this kind of reminds me of the secret of Monkey Island when you get like very fun quips. Like, I'm afraid as counselor, I must relieve you of your duty. Regulations empower me to do so in the event of a mental breakdown in the commanding officer. Ooh, I like that. Earth Federation Code 1701. I'm aware of the code doctor. However, Code 980 gives me the power to hold suspicious individuals for up to seven days in the event of a serious crime on board ship. Dang it. And Code 1701 does not apply when the counselor, him or, himself, or herself, is under investigation. Dang it. <laughs> She's smarter than us. Yes, therapy. So essentially the way this game started off is um, we're out collecting junk, recycling like old ships and stuff. And we find like a big locker, essentially like out in space. We grab it, bring it in. And it actually looks more of like a grave. It has like a name, like a plaque, almost like a like a gravestone. So we decided not to open it up and call somebody to come pick it up. We have a bad dream that something crawled out of this thing. The next day we found our commander dead. So we're really just trying to find who killed the commander and try to stop whoever this killer is. And we have five days until help arrives, which now I think it's like two days, maybe two or three days. Okay, I didn't kill anyone. Whether or not you did is currently immaterial. I told you, this is merely a precautionary measure. I was outside when Serena disappeared. Come on. And you can explain all that to the investigators. Rest assured, Doctor, if you truly are innocent, the evidence will acquit you. In today's foolproof modern era, wrongful arrest is increasingly unlikely. So now, you are supposed to know some of this information from the previous game that we streamed back in November. So I'll just kind of remind you. But in the first game, we were in like this kind of haunted house sort of place. And this guy was walking around, which we've seen him here with like a big kind of face shield, like a blacksmith might use a big tarp and the machete, right? Going around killing people. We, we saw him in a dream. Anyway, that guy was also the bad guy in the first game. But it was everybody or multiple people in the house, including us. We were that guy temporarily. It basically possesses people, has them put on this outfit, go around and kill people. So we could be the killer. I don't know. <laughs> How much longer until the investigators get here? Just what I was talking about. Uh, their ETA is around noon on Sunday. You have three more days to practice your explanations. <laughs> right. Angelo, while I'm here, the real killer is still on loose. Oh yes, I forgot you were doing some little investigations of your own. Who do you have pinned down for the real killer? Come on. <laughs> I'm going to have to say I think someone else is on board because I can't pin this on anybody in particular. Um, I don't know. It's one of us, though. But... It's like an entity, I believe. So I'm just going to say this. Uh, I haven't looked yet, Jada. I don't, I don't usually look until it's time to raid. Yeah, I think there's someone else on board. How could another person have possibly gotten on board? The internal scanners would have spotted them. What if they weren't a physical being? Mm, I like that. Doctor, I have no idea what you think you're talking about. Even if non-physical beings existed, they cannot murder corporal entities. Oh no, he's covered in blood. Commander, behind you! Counselor, please. Even if I... Oh no! Snapped her neck! Oh crap. <laughs> I 
I was just watching it. Just la 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 la. Look at the cutscene, John. Nope. Okay, so if I click restart, is it going to start the game or does it leave me where I'm at? Let's try this out. Oh yeah, rest restart the whole thing. Okay, so let's load our most recent save and we'll just blast through this. So I think what we have to do is right when that sequence happens, I have to quickly grab the gun and shoot this guy. So let's go ahead and talk to her. Oh, and grab that thing. I'll say, forget it. You won't listen to reason. As you wish. We should grab this first, the towel rack. Maybe actually that's what I need to use. I don't know if I need to use the gun or the towel rack. Probably the gun. Okay, I'm going to ask her while I'm here, the real killer's on loose. Oh, let's ask her about the locker first. What about the locker? I never got a chance to. You are becoming obsessed with that article. I have told you before, it was nothing but useless space debris. The murders of two crewmen are slightly more of an issue at the moment. But what if there is a connection somehow? How could there possibly be a connection? It is an empty steel box left to float in space for thousands of years. Are you suggesting the murderer was hiding inside? Okay, now we can ask the real thing. I do, Jada. It's a really cool game. I haven't played it in years, but uh, I did play it quite a bit with my wife a while back. Okay, let's try this one. I'm going to say the captain did it. So, you didn't discover the corpse after all. I did, I know I did, but then his corpse disappeared. What if he's still alive, as we just saw? If he is, Doctor, he will have little trouble moving around. With, what with all the spikes sticking through his chest? <laughs> and all his blood supply lying on the radio masts. Speaking of which, oh, he didn't come out right then. I assumed he was just going to come out once I asked that question. Maybe I have to say, I think there's someone else on board. Then he'll come. There it is. Okay. I got to quickly grab this. Can't save right now. He goes and hit the switch. Where's my mouse cursor? Oh, God. Can hardly click it in time. Oh, man, that's tough. Okay, let's try it again. I, th I don't think he can grab the gun in time. I think I just have to bash him with that... Uh, handle that we found. Oops. There we go. Angela. Okay, now let's... Oh, I didn't grab the item! Stupid John. Okay, can I do it quick enough? Grab that. Oh, I might, this might work. I may need it. <laughs> yeah, you might need it to bash his head in. Maybe I am supposed to grab the gun. It didn't feel like there was enough time. Let's try it one more time. Well, multiple times until I get it right, of course. Maybe I do grab the gun. I don't know if it just said that because I was too slow or what. Crystal, how's it going, Crystal? You just entered the stream and there's a dead body already. <laughs> oh, there's been multiple. There's been multiple. Well, we have, actually, no, we have found two corpses. Yes, out of six. I think there's six people total. How's it going, Crystal? Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't see my mouse yet. Oh, there it is. Oh, 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 God. So hard to click. Man, maybe not. I don't know. Okay, this time I'm going to try the towel rack with more time. I forgot to grab it before I talked to her that one time. It's got to be one of those two things, right? The towel rack or the gun? Okay, now we have plenty of time to hit him. He says I may need it. That is not what I'm supposed to do. It is the gun for sure. Right? I don't really have anything else I can use. I could try using my hands. Try talking to him. Give him lunch. I don't think I should get near him. 
<laughs> I tried giving him lunch. That didn't do anything. It's got to be the gun. It's got to be the gun. Nice. I love it. That's such a great game over sound. Wait, grab the towel rack just in case. No, wait, can I move over there? Would that actually give me more time? I cannot move. Oh, we can. Maybe that was my problem. I'm standing too close to the sink. I need to be standing over here. Because then I'll be closer to the gun to grab it, right? That might have been my problem the whole time. Yeah, see, now it's like right next to my feet. Grab the gun. Blast him with a stun gun. Yeah! Okay, that was tricky. I just wasn't standing in the right place. This is just a stun gun. I don't know how long that will hold him. What if you bash him with this towel rack? I may need it. Should we check the body? As far as I can tell, it's Captain Chahal. I don't think I should get near him. Angela is dead. Her neck is severely broken. I should save it again while we're here. I'm just going to pretend you didn't suggest that. <laughs> I tried to check the body. Oh, wait, can I move his body? I was going to say, if we can move him in here, we, we could lock him up, right? Oh, why don't we do that? And Crystal. So in this game, we are a group of people in space on a ship going, basically collecting like stuff and recycling it. And we found a big locker, but it turned out to be essentially probably a uh, casket for a dead body. So we called somebody to come pick it up and uh, we're waiting for people to come pick it up. But while that's happened, our captain died. Another one of our crew members died and we're trying to find out what is going on. We could have sworn he was dead. This guy was impaled. Now he's walking around and just killed our other commander. Snapped her neck. Where am I going? <laughs> it is exactly like that. Or maybe Among Us is a copy of Seven Days of Skeptic <laughs> as it came out in 2004. Uh, I don't think I want to go outside, actually. Although I don't know when he's going to wake up. Oh, God, he does just pop up. Okay. I'm glad I saved it right there. Get the hell out of here. This might be on a timer. You were right about saving often, Asifa. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we are in the engine room. Let's check the residence. Anybody here? You think you can hear footsteps? Oh, like in, in the shaft? Oh, yeah, there's someone here. Adam's here. Adam? Go away. God's sake, go away. He's coming for me. He'll kill us both. Well, he's not going to help us. You think you can hear footsteps? I hope it's not out here. Okay, let's go to the communal deck. There are more footsteps. Every time it says that, does that just mean the killer's real close? <laughs> Scared the elevator's about to open up and we're gonna get killed. Well, Angela's not gonna be here. Maybe we should check his room again. It's really the only Oh crap, he's right there You don't see anything interesting No Aha, dodged ya <laughs> This is like Resident Evil We're getting chased by Nemesis Or Mr. X Okay, let's go back down here Let's uh, go outside, I suppose. Oh, no! <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> it's like Pepe Le Pew from Looney Tunes. Just kind of teleports all over the place. Okay. I didn't see anywhere to go inside the ship, so we should definitely go outside. I like this music that plays. It's stressful. You 
think you can hear footsteps. Yeah, no crap. So I guess what we're hoping to do is just like launch this guy out into space, right? Maybe we can get him out. Oh, he's right behind us. Oh, this is going to be tight. Go quicker. Close the door. Music stopped. Now we can do this. Perfect. Clip and go. I don't know if I should go up or down. Actually, you know what? It would probably make more sense to go up. And then see if um, somebody could like use that trap with the communication poles essentially to like stab this guy, right? Unfortunately, we need to be talking to someone to do this. Yeah, we can't do anything with them. Okay, let's go down. Go down again. I don't know if he's even still coming or not. Oh, does it sound familiar, Therapy? That's cool. <laughs> yeah, these games are from like the mid-2000s. So, you know, maybe you have. Should I give him a minute? Oh, there's exhaust down here. Even when the engines are down, the nacelles emit plasma exhaust because of the emergency generators. No way, that stuff's white hot. So that's where we want to knock this guy. I don't know if the stun gun has limited uses. Here we go. It's an electro stun gun, but I can't tell how much power is left. So it could have power, Michael. I'm not entirely sure. All right, I don't think he's coming while we're out here. Maybe we get to blast him multiple times. Go ahead and take this off. God, he's going to be waiting for me <laughs> as soon as we go in there. I'm like half afraid he's going to grab me as soon as I open the door. He never did cry this room, though, which makes me think he can't follow us here. Not that it's safe here. You just can't really do anything, you know? So with everything we know, what could we do to, like, stop this guy? What would be, like, a trap? I was assuming the... Uh, Put him in that uh, prison, you know? But I can't get him to, like, walk in there very easily. You think you can hear footsteps? Oh, we're already screwed. Shoot the reactor core. Don't think so. Oh, God. Start blasting him. Bam! Ha, ah, you like it, Barry. He's a zombie now. Push him over the edge. Nudge him with the stick. I feel like we're supposed to trick him into coming in here and then stun him. What if I'm way over here? Maybe if he comes really close right here, I can actually uh, shoot him and stun him. And Romaine, how are you doing, dude? Welcome to the stream. So it's an RPG maker MIDI. Maybe that's it. Yeah, it's like a commonly used song that uh, other games use as well. So maybe you haven't played this game therapy, but you might have heard the song. That's kind of cool. Okay, so uh, I think I'm going to give him a minute to see if he wants to come in here. Because if we can lock him in there, I think we're golden. Can he just, like, come in, or... I have to give him time. I need to wait for it to say you hear footsteps, right? I'm not entirely sure if it... Uh is on a timer, or if it just depends how many rooms you've, like, walked into. Whatever it is, it's stressful. <laughs> I don't know if it's on a timer. Oh, now we can hear footsteps. Okay, let's go back in here. I'm trying to get as far back here as I can. So I'm hoping if he walks like right about here, we can blast him and lock him in there. 
I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do this. It's the only thing I could think of to like stop him, essentially, because you can't kill him. He just keeps coming. And he wouldn't come outside for me to do anything. Although... If he goes near the airlock, we might be able to open up that big cargo bay thing and shove him out, right? I haven't seen any way of opening um, that door. We didn't have the right card, I don't think. Although, we do have this key card. And this is the key to the captain's quarters. Okay, it specifically says captain's quarters. I don't know if I could do anything else. Not coming. Try this one more time. Your footsteps. Oh, he was right there. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Wait, if I just wait here, will he get back up? Or do I need to leave and come back? I'm trying to stand on the very back pixel over here. There we go. That's about as far away as I can stand. Gosh, I wish I could just drag him in there. They say he doesn't want to get near him, and I totally understand, because he might get grabbed and attacked, right? Come on, Captain. Do you want to come at me? I have a feeling it's not really on a timer. I think it's like, after you've walked a few rooms, then he wakes back up. We just gotta wander around a little bit. So, so far, I've only been able to find... William. We haven't found... Wait, was it William? Or was it... The engineer guy, I can't think of his name. No, get away! Oh, that's William. Okay, he's hiding. John? John, run! What? Run for your life, you bloody fool! Oh, crap! How do you get over there? <laughs> okay, let's go to engineering. Let's try this. Okay, now we have found them both. All right, this is a pretty good spot. I think I'm gonna do another save, just in case this could actually work. I miss MIDI music. So simple, but so catchy. Now, Romain, have you tried making games with the uh, RPG Maker? Is that how you have that? Or just played a lot of those games that use it? Maybe he's too smart. What if he doesn't come back in here? Hmm. I'm scared he's going to walk in here but not walk in the cell. You know, he might like... Can I walk behind the bed? So. Yeah, what if he didn't actually like walk behind... in the cell? He's like right in front of it right here. Kind of like the first time I shot him. seem to want to come. Maybe you have to leave and come back. Oh, it doesn't say I hear footsteps. There we go. Now he's pissed off. Okay, I think he's close. This is actually a really long MIDI file, too. I like it. The song doesn't repeat too terribly much. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, heck, when you're making a game all by yourself and you don't compose music, why the hell not, right? It's a good pick. You coming? I feel like he's wandering around aimlessly, like I am. Now we can hear footsteps. 
I want the game to say you hear footsteps in here. Because I think when you hear footsteps, it's about to, like, enter your room. Although, Asifa, I could be totally wasting my time, too. <laughs> What would be nice is to like uh, have some sort of illusion or trick to make them walk that way and then just be over here and shut them out, you know? It, this doesn't quite feel right because there's really not much room in here. Like the margin of error for shooting them in that space is real bad. Oh, crap. Oh, all that waiting and nothing. Yeah, if I'm if I'm like totally on the wrong path, because this is kind of hard to even get him to come in here. Yeah, I might want to hint just so I don't waste more time. Oh, he's coming this way. Okay, so it wasn't that room. So my other idea is that we want to use this to like eject him out of the ship, right? But I don't think we have any ability to do that. Let's see if we can get him to come over here. Come on, Captain. You were right behind us. <laughs> Did you get lost in the hallway? Oh, nice. Okay, okay. I would not have thought to do that. Wait, he says I need it. When I think of Star Wars, I think of somebody, like, falling off of this thing. But... I don't think that's actually what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> At least I can't seem to push him or nudge him or anything. Yeah, the stun gun doesn't do anything besides knock him out. But if he came out here, we might be able to eject him into space with this thing, although I don't know if I can do that. Okay, come over here, buddy. Okay, so we got this panel over here. And they're locked in place sensibly enough. I don't know any override codes, and we didn't, we don't have the book anymore, so we can't check that out. And then there's this door, but I can't use any of my key cards to get in there. Yeah, so ejection doesn't seem like the right thing either. From the other side. <laughs> oh, that jerk. <laughs> okay. That was pretty brilliant. Um, there's also the railing. I wonder if I can do something with the railing here. Before, when I tried using it, it just said there's nothing special. I don't see anything interesting. Can I do something with the railing? The only other thing I could think of was using the, the towel rail to, like, smack them. Can't wait for him to get real close and use it. He still gets you. Something in the environment. Let's see. That's what my first thought was, Michael, but I don't think he'll go out there. I waited for a long time and he never uh, moved out there. So on the reactor core. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm reliably informed that this is what keeps the ship ticking over. Okay, so if it keeps it from ticking over, if it's destroyed ship will tick over, maybe he will fall, right? So can I blast this thing right now? I don't think so. Can I put the towel rail in there? I don't think so. Can I push him? I don't think I should get near him. <laughs> okay, I can't do anything to him right there. Can I just walk back here now? Yes, okay. Is there anything else in this environment I can do something with? Oh, he's back! Can't push, I can't do that. Always blast him. No. I'm 
I'm not putting my hand anywhere near it. Well, I don't want you to put your hand. Use the towel rack, use your gun, use your lunch. So if he doesn't come into space and I don't have anything to actively shoot him, or to like push him into space, this definitely seems like the room we could do something to him. Let's see, there's something here in the environment that isn't in the others. I mean, besides this huge reactor core. We got a railing, a drop, and then there's this kind of like big pipe right here. I can't seem to like do anything with it or hide behind it. Stop it. Figuring out the environment. Is there another pixel I missed? Yeah, when he says it keeps it from ticking over, that's almost like a big hint that you should throw something in there to destroy it and cause the ship to fall or spin out to kind of knock him in. I'm saying the correct things, but not trying them. Wait, which one didn't I try? I thought I exhausted all my items on uh, each object here. Not sure how to implement that. Oh, wait a second. Sometimes when he says that, you're on the right track. He says, I'm not sure how to implement that. Let me see this. I come back here and grab onto the railing. Nope, still doesn't know how to implement that. I was like, oh, what if we can hold on there? Wait, am I hiding right there? In the shadow? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I never would have noticed that. That's clever. Okay, notice he goes he gets a little bit darker when you're standing right here in this shadow. And then when he comes up, I guess we can try either pushing him or using the towel rack. Because he's probably gonna try to walk right by us, I'm guessing. Unless he comes from this way, we're screwed. But that's a really well hidden secret. It's not coming right now. Let me just move out real quick. I'm, I'm thinking that's what it is. We do look like we're kind of hidden right there. Did he see me? <laughs> He's stuck. I may need it. I don't think he can walk through. I think his AI is stuck. Bam! How do you like it? Now let's not move at all. Make sure that he... Oh, he looks confused. Ha ha ha! Oh, that's so satisfying. <laughs> Bye, Barry. Okay, now let's go tell... Let's save it. And let's tell people... We have saved the day! Oh, we should probably check on... Uh, Angela. Angela, you dead? Angela is dead. There is no doubt at all of that. Fatality. Oh, just as we're talking about Angela. <laughs> Your timing, I know it was meant for the other one. <laughs> Worked out badly for Angela. <laughs> nice, Michael, nice. And that was a clever one, Hasifa. I just didn't get the idea that you could hide behind that without actually like letting me click on it, you know? Like... Because you literally just like stand behind it and the shadow is what I should have noticed. You actually kind of change color a little bit because of that shadow. That was a neat puzzle. It just was not clicking. No. Oh, God. It's okay. It's me. I killed him. You killed the captain? Are you sure? Unless he can survive a fall down from the reactor pit. Oh, thank Christ. John, you... You're a guardian angel. That's what you are. Are you coming out of there? Er, no. I've just got some things to sort out in here. I'll meet you on the bridge in about ten minutes. We can talk about what to do next. Weird. <laughs> I don't think he trusts us. Okay, where was... 
our other buddy. He was. He was in this area. And we have to go into the vents where we got to the elevator shaft. Not that one. This one? No, it was that first room. I just had to go to the food area. That's right. Yeah, actually, this is probably a good stopping point, Hasifa. Now that I think about it, if we have two full days, we'll get more gameplay out of that. So that's actually perfect timing. We just took out... Let's actually end it right here because we can go talk to the guy. So for future John, when you review this VOD so you know where the hell you are, you need to go into this vent, talk to Adam, and then probably wait until uh, 10 minutes is up and you talk to everybody in the bridge. So that's a perfect stopping point. Good call, Hasifa. Let's go ahead and do another proper save. I'll just save over that one. Nice. What a cool game, Hasifa. I really dig this. And I'm excited for the other ones in the series as well. Sure. Oh, God, this is going to mess up my stream because of the resolution problems. Fingers crossed.